Welcome in, everybody, to Goblet Some More Lost is Order, the Goblet episode 24, um, where uh, the party is finally going to deal with Safoon, and Safoon is in chat. So if you would like to be also a side quest bit bad, the reward is, or viewer reward is down in uh, viewer rewards. Did I say it right? I don't know. Uh, so if you want this to be a side quest bit bad, just save up those points and redeem them like Safoon has. You get to see kind of something similar play out. Uh, anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. This is also our monthly uh, or yearly month long charity support month. I don't know. Words are hard tonight. Um, so we support Breast Cancer Research Foundation for the whole month of October. You can see the top donations or the recent donator and the, the amount that we have, do have donated gotten raised up this month for donations. Um, we're trying to reach the goal of 2000 so if you have any spare money, if you would like to um, support, uh, be much appreciated. My mom is a survivor. And all of your donations goes to Stretch Goals on our charity event. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday at 6 p.m. with a bunch of lovely streamers and friends of the channel, including my co-DM here that's playing Providence. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that'll be our next D and D stream. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll take it away. Uh, our person to go around the room. Uh, Garner, go ahead. Garner, I play Git Glitch. You know, clouds weigh about a million tons. <laughs> and then uh, Zoldi. Hey, yeah. As Jugan said, I am uh, co DMing this uh, charity stream with him. Uh, it's a lot of fun, um, and if you can, uh, please consider donating. It'll really, really help out a lot of people. Plus, it'll be fun for us because they'll get a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of rewards as as the uh, as the game goes on. Uh, that's all for me. And uh, Jr. the nerd is not here tonight. He is traveling. He's currently in. Oh, he's in another country, let's just say that. So he's in, tr currently traveling. He might be here the last hour, we don't know. And to go along with the charity event, if you donate $50, you get up to four bracelets and uh, a sticker, if you like. And if you're overseas, you'll get two stickers from uh, uh, merch, a merch shop. And then our, 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 on our next stream on the giveaway on Wednesday will be a giveaway for lovely Carlac, uh, one-tenth scale. So... That would be the next giveaway on Wednesday. So make sure you come in on Wednesday to help support. All right. Uh, now we turn it over to Roar Tender. Hey, -o, I am Roar Tender. I play Kalis. Uh, I also stream, but it is so sparingly that it's not worth following me right now. I will keep you updated. <laughs> All righty. And the true vessel. Hey, I am Weasel, or the One Truce Vessel, in chat. Um, I don't stream, but I play here, and uh, I run some monthly competitions in our Discord. So come join the Discord, and then join the competition, and and maybe win a prize. Yeah, exclamation point Discord to join our Discord. And then we also have Silver Wolf. It's, it's like also in the chair again. Yep, I'm playing Arwenis. I'm Silverwolf. I hopefully will be starting the stream again, hopefully next week. I got good news. Everything is fine. My health is okay. I'm doing better, Ooh. so good news there. But yeah, I am also on uh, the charity event with uh, Isold and Jugen, and I play Jean Barine there. I am the spooky, scary human on there, so please come by and join that, so... All right. Well, back to this game tonight. Uh, Nico rolled the lowest for out of combat initiative, so they will have recap and it will get inspiration. So with that being said, I uh, updated the intro and outro finally right before stream. So uh, there's a bit, you notice some little bit differences. I removed the player that wasn't there and added a cool effect I found on my editing. It seemed kind of cool. So hope you enjoy. You guys have a good, I almost... Like, no, we're just starting, not ending. <laughs> grab your goblet, sit night, back. Have a good night here. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see ya. You know what? Grab your goblet, sit back, and relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go.
So, uh, Vagabond, um, this group is weird. There's a lot that happens, like, all the time, but, uh, I guess, yeah, so this morning we, we, uh, we found Kalis. He was in a fountain, barely dressed, which apparently is not his norm. I've only known him for, like, two days, but, uh. And when I met him, he was a floating table, so I don't know what his norm is. Um, but yeah, so we brought him, we brought him back to the majestic, um, and through various conversations and questionings and answers, and I guess he's probably aware of something. Um, he fought someone who bit him, and yeah, that would explain the growling at least. So. Yeah, they're all pretty confident. They they made a convincing argument for it. I'm I'm cool with believing that. Uh, but yeah, and then I guess we went we went for breakfast after that, or not went for breakfast. We went downstairs to the breakfast area of the majestic, and uh, that was when I prayed to you the last time. So I I guess everything up to there was unnecessary, but that's okay. Um, prayed for luck, and and uh, Kalis mentioned that he had seen a bunch of souls moving in a specific direction, which is really helpful because it meant that we could confidently go after just one of the Zafoon addresses instead of going to one and potentially wasting a bunch of time and possibly harassing an innocent person, which is never ideal. But uh, yeah, so that was lucky, so thank you for that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we we headed out, uh, we headed out and and they were all going into high hills, which was where we were going to check first. So it was still useful, but uh, yeah, we went to we went to Zafun's address, and it was a really nice house that wasn't actually a really nice house. It was actually really run down, but there was some magic around it, which was cool. Um, it uh, yeah, it was it was really. Sp- sussy though and all of the souls around it were like tethered almost and being pulled in that way i guess i couldn't see it but yeah um yeah and so we before we went inside kayla started doing this thing where he hears voices that no one else can hear um magic is weird uh but yeah so we we went inside and he was hearing it come from downstairs so it took a little bit of looking around but he was able to like 
guide us pretty quickly to a stairwell. Um, we went downstairs and, and there were just a bunch of these cultists who were like, join the cult of Zafoon, pledge allegiance to this cat. And, but they wouldn't actually like tell us anything. And we're trying, like we're trying to make an informed decision because we're pretty sure they're not good people. But um, yeah, K Kalis, I guess was not in a very patient mood. He's got a lot going on right now. I don't blame him, but he just, blurts out so are you the guys stealing souls which was very direct um to the point and and their response wasn't really an answer it was just a so you've heard of us trying to be all cool i guess but it was it an was, admission of guilt it it was kind of cool but uh it's a good thing i pray out loud so that they can they can also talk to you <sighs> um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so then, then we got in a fight. And you know what? I thank you very much for all of the luck in that fight because we did really, really well. Um, and that was definitely because of you. Um, but yeah, so we, we fought them. We like completely wiped the floor with them. Uh, Pro Providence was a little thrown off at the beginning, but when she got into it, man, she like really hit hard. It was kind of intimidating, but it was it was cool. Uh, but yeah, so after things settled down, we, we were looking around a bit and someone found uh, a throne on the back of this cat. The cat's name, what was the cat's name? It was Fluffy, but it wasn't a cat because nothing in this house is what it is, I guess. If the whole house isn't what it looks like. But um, the little mini dragon cat thing, his throne had a lever on the back and, and, and yeah, it opened a hole with the whole other stairway even deeper I'm not sure how many basements this guy has but for a tattered house i wouldn't expect it to have a double basement but it does um but yeah so that's where we are now uh please continue to give us this good luck this is a good day so far weasel out nico out So real quick, did you say that they were wearing half plate armor? But like mechanically, could it be a backup set of armor for someone who uses medium armor? I might eventually want to have armor that isn't just bright blue. No. <laughs> Hmm. Ah. Sure, yeah. Ooh, I'm good at this, guys. Religion. Uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration that I just got. <laughs> That's the exact same roll. That's a 12 total off of a 4. Yeah. Are you describing I'm, the I'm symbol like, out loud? Ab Absent-minded about no, um, I'm I'm probably just like kind of feeling it, like tracing it with my finger, but, and and I'd Why? probably be mumbling to myself like, do I want a backup set of armor that is marked with some other god? You can put it in the bag of holding if you want. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you up on that. I think I, I'm gonna take off the armor from one of them and put it in the bag of holding to just kind of remember for later. You said a half plate. Yes. Our, uh, stream couldn't hear me, so let me re-say it one more time. Uh, with your twelve for your religion check, uh, this is for Twitch chat anyway because I muted myself to stream, but not you guys. Um, some reason I didn't undo it. Uh, you uh, saw a hand mirror, and it looks like what part of the armor design looks like a crat, uh, like clat, uh, crat mirror all the way through the armor, but the armor's not actually damaged, it's more of an intricate design. And you know, this is a symbol of the goddess of absence, but you cannot remember the name of the god. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Twitch chat. Thank you for letting me know. That would have been bad. 
<laughs> I was going to say, if you were describing this symbol out loud, I might be able to help you. Um, I... I probably didn't. I, I probably would have just mentioned that there's a symbol of a god, but not specifically said the god's name. Like, literally just kind of mumbling, do I, do I want to take a set of armor, a spare set of armor that represents another god? As I'm putting it in, like, did you see what was on this? Um, it's the, the god of, like, absence, but I... I mm, I don't remember. I don't remember the name. I don't really remember much else about it. Whoops. Would um, it have been in my religion studies at all, Jugan? Give me a religion check. Anybody that's proficient with religion can roll. Fifteen. You don't know much more than that. Much more than she does. Mm -hmm. I will give it a roll. That's 12. Okay. In the bag. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks anyways, though. Um, thanks. That's... This bag is really convenient. Maybe keep an eye out for oh, no. other... What'd you roll, Nico? You rolled a 12, you said? I rolled yeah. a 12. I rolled okay. two fours. Uh, I will give this to Glitch and Kalisten. Uh, The name Desma... Or Desmona uh, comes to your mind, but you don't really remember what she's all about. I'll relay that name and just say keep an eye out for any more symbols if this is a cult of this god. Wait, do gods have cults? I'm going to glance over at Isam. <laughs> he always calls them cults just to see if he's got a really cocky look on his face. Uh, do you want him to do a roll as well? Why not? Uh, he has a... What is his? A three. <laughs> I'm just going to roll on my sheet. He got a ten. He does not know. Yeah. He, he knows about it as much as I do. Cool, cool. cool. Alright. Yeah, no. Definitely. Definitely be keeping an eye out for... More of this. I wonder if they have any, any like books or or like written information, doctrines, any of that in here. They have like pamphlets. Well, not not a pamphlet. I mean something more more detailed. Like it might be. It might be interesting to do some reading later. Were there any markings on this throne? The chair. Not oh, markings? Any... Yeah, sure. There's a couple of cat claw marks. Plenty of those. Yeah. If, oh, cat. if I take a close look, <laughs> <laughs> if I take a close look, like and actually investigate the chair, there's there's nothing at all. Give me an investigation chair. Investigation. Bam. That is a nineteen total. It's a very lovely chair. If it wasn't for the cat claw marks and cat hair, you could probably get a nice, pretty, pretty penny if you went out and sold it. Otherwise, it would have been a nice chair. Okay, cool. Okay, well, did we grab a couple of their uh, cloaks? Did we want to grab a couple as we went further down? They're all pretty bloody at this point, though. I don't think you all... Yeah cleanly killed anybody <laughs> um, I think I shot one of them in the head and it was like an instant it was a one hit well sure you can have I'll say that one's fine except for a lot of blood on the, the cloak it would just be on the back he fell on his back as long as I'm facing them no it's fine it's fine I will clean them we don't have time for that we need to defeat so the Safoon person. Yeah. Did you guys notice there's like another set of stairs? Yeah. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is my set of stairs. I found a button, but I didn't know what it did. Well, it, it, it moved the, the throne the cat was sitting on, and now there's stairs going down even farther. Well. 
This is obviously the place that we need to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this time, if we get into a fight, I go first. Not you guys. (laughs) Okay. It's not our fault that you kind of just stood there thinking about your plan and didn't do anything until after the fact. That hurts. I'm sorry. Um, if it makes you feel any better, um, Verona and I stayed back. Yes, we did. She even stayed hidden the whole time. She was like behind the stairs being defensive. And I wasn't looking at anything at all. Mm hmm. What does anyway. that mean? Right. <laughs> Down the stairs? Let's go. Yep, yeah. Down the stairs, yeah. Right. Sorry, Prue. Hammer and shield are out. As we're walking down the stairs, if I didn't do it before, I am now enacting an uh, emboldening bond. I can't remember if I did it last session or not. I think I did. You did, yes. Yeah. Okay, do you remember who has it? Kalis and Isam? That's yes, and right. then yourself, I believe. Yeah. As you, um, you guys are no longer blessed, by the way. I figured. <laughs> As you start walking down these steps, you expect it to be pitch black, which this is not. It has like every so set amount of meters down the hallway. You can see there's ever lit uh, fire, or ever burning fire and torches. And um, you can hear chains rallying to your left and to your right as you step down to the end of the stairs but standing in the middle of the hallway you see a couple of you see about five cloak figures For a second, I didn't see those walls in the hall, and I, I was like, dude, we can't fight 30 people. Yeah, we can. <laughs> if they're commoners, maybe. Okay, let's five people in front of us. Are they bad guys? Can Are you bad, bad guys? guys? <sighs> Have you come to join us? No, we've already went through this. Uh, are you guys the ones stealing souls? No, we're taking lost souls and give them a home. People say so he's yes. discarded, and Zafun is trying to take us all to a better place. You've come to join us in this regard. Take you where? To Mother Desmond's realm. Well, she accepts all people that has been discarded or rejected. But... Rejected from where? Hmm. So, would you like to come? Or do we need to chain you up like the rest of the Finding Souls? <laughs> no one is chaining Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you say you have people chained up down here? Y'all can hear the rattling of chains. Oh! And, like, agony of pain. Ah! If you have... uh, I know some of y'all don't have the music on because you get overstimulated, but you kind of hear it in the background. I lean into Providence. Just carve a path through. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, If, um... I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm going to initiate uh, combat. I'm just gonna run in. All right. That was, everybody rolled initiative. Ah, boo! Um, oh, Verona has. Does Verona's <laughs> advantage on initiative only last for the first initiative? Yes. Or is it an on? Okay. Then she. I'm gonna use one of my advantages on this. That was I... the one that Esam gave her, right? Yeah. 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 It's just the first. I should 21. probably do the same. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. No, I'm gonna waste the initiative uh, advantage too. Kaylee, yours didn't come through. What'd you get? A nine. nine. I and I need a Sam's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. 
Uh, I can't roll it, but I'll roll what he gets. Yeah. Uh, he is getting a 16 plus three. three 19. 19. Got it. All right. Looks like I got everybody's initiative, so we'll go... A six. Yeah, I'm gonna call him out. Y'all just let me know. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, Fane got. Uh, for y'all's purposes, Fane got a seven. You mean Verana? Verana. Oh, yeah, never mind. This is Nico's. Never mind. I really got to change the label on my OBS on this. Um, it is it is physically impossible for Nico Nico to get a seven on initiative. I know. Nico, what is yours? Oh, gotcha. I misheard you. Uh, mine was a 23. Yeah, so I'm saying I forgot to rename uh, Fane to Nico in my OBS. Okay. Uh, Kalis, what did you get? You got a... Nine. Alrighty. And... Man, or Isam got what? 19. Oh, there's still 19. That's good. I'm going to change that. Province, you got... 21. 21? Providence? Yep, 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 21. Glitch, you got... What'd you get, Glitch? Alright, a whole bunch of crap going on at once. Uh, 17. 17. Alrighty. It's How wide around. is this hallway? The wide of the hallway is 10 feet. 10 feet? Okay. So you sit like comfortably two people side by side. And uh, the height is only about 15 to 20 feet, give or take. Mm hmm. And then, uh, Nico, the top of the round is you. Providence, you're on deck, and then it's on. All righty. Uh, and so I, I'm going to try to move to whichever side of the hallway gives me a clearer shot, and I'm just gonna shoot a couple well, arrows. You're at... still in this. You're still in a step, so you can shoot over everybody. Okay, perfect then. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do just a couple shots at at. Uh, Whoever is first, and they're in the bad, bad guy's line. Yeah, uh, the one I was talking was the one behind the four, so. That's cool. I'm still just going to do whoever's closest. Okay, that'd be right in front of uh, Providence. Yep. So, oof. Uh, <laughs> first shot is a is an 11 to hit. 11 misses. Yep, that's what I get when I roll a two. Hey, uh, kinda, it sees you, shoots, and yeah. Simon Tays is the one behind, and skitters across the floor behind him. Yep. And then the second one is that I rolled another two. So I just shoot two arrows and go, you should back off before we get serious. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have chosen not to join us. And they start pulling out chains. Providence. Our groups like that. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna go immediately go into a righteous fury. So let me roll for that. What is a seven? Ooh, that's never 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 happened before. Um, so you see, Chris, surrounding Providence, you see these um, glowing flowers that start to sprout from the ground, uh, mostly like daffodils, not daffodils, uh, daisies. Um, and um, a Where's few sunflowers, 15 feet, a few sunflowers start to go around. And it goes with me. Um, and any enemy now has difficult difficult terrain if it's in a 15 feet foot circle of me and my, my glowing flowers. Uh, well, you, which is, you keep in mind of 15 feet. I'm trying to put this on the double. Um, no worries. Arnus. Well, I would have his song, but he's not here. I don't know if I have a role play with him. Arnus, roll me a perception check. I 
I got a nine. Actually, what's your passive? Let's go off that. That's probably more. My accurate. passive is fifteen. Fifteen. All right, we'll go off that because this is more accurate. You've seen Providence go in her righteous rage or fury, whatever she likes to call it, and, uh, numerous times, but this time something's different. Like her radiant aura comes out, and then there's a streak of red going through it. Slightly different, and as she creates this earthing thing. And then, uh, what would you like to do, Providence? That's your bonus action. Uh, yeah, run up to the first guy, whichever one's there, and attack. Oh, I'm going to roll on, uh, where is my attacks? Actions, great sword. That's the wrong button. God damn it. One. A one? All right, so they get an opportunity attack. As you come rushing in, lodging in, maybe you're just overzealous and very happy to be in combat. As he, as one... The ones behind are grabbing chains out. This one comes out cross as you kind of catch your your um, acceleration in, kind of coming up with the scimitar across your chest with an attack. Ooh, a natural 19, uh, 22 to hit. That will hit. Uh, five slashing damage, but you're raging, so that's half to three. Mm-hmm. As it. All right. Is that your turn? That's my turn. What is Assam doing? Glitcher on deck. Oh, is it Assam? Um, yeah. <laughs> You're just like... Sorry, right, <laughs> totally, totally forgot. Um, is Assam... <laughs> you know what? They're all clustered together. Assam's going to come right up behind me, and I think he's going to go ahead and use um, Spirit Guardians. And it'll be... Oh, it'll be radiant damage. I'll hit the first four, but not the one in the back. Uh, so his DC is, oh, where is that on here? Pretty sure his DC is 22. 97? Yeah, that's a good DC. Yep. Um, What's the DC? Is wisdom? Uh, it will be wisdom. Yes. His wisdom is a 20, so it's probably a plus. One got a natural 20, the, or the first one got, I'm rolling two at a time, so one got a natural 20, one got a 10, one got a 15, and one got a 6. 16, so, his spell save is a, a 16 wisdom. All right, so all three of them fail so for one. I'm going to say the one that succeeded is the one um, in front of you. Does that mean we have to roll two since we're in the circle? No, no it's whoever he chooses. Yeah. Oh, Unless okay. he decides to hate you guys. I hope not. <laughs> no, he likes us. Barely. What's that total damage? Uh, looking it up. Hold on. 38. Uh, what is the, what is the roll for it? Uh, 3d8. Okay, hold on. One. Let's do it on screen. Sorry, sorry, this is not my character. I'm usually more prepared than this. All good. Uh, it's a total of 18 damage. 18, 18 radiant. 18, and if they saved, it's half? Yep. And uh, what is half? Nine. Uh, nine. How does Assam like to describe this as he completely obliterates the first four? Uh, there are some shadows that seem to well up from the ground and just reach up and claw at these creatures as they drag him uh, as they drag them down towards the ground. Lovely. That's his turn. Well, uh, glitch. What are you doing? Um. Glitch will just lean over the railing and just uh, point his palm at the last guy and cast lightning launcher. <laughs> so he has one third level spell slot left back. Sit, seen to hit that guy? 
Yeah. 16 hits. Sweet. Um, 11 lightning damage. That's max. <laughs> nice. 11? Yeah. And if he somehow survives, he can get more lightning damage next round without me doing anything. But He's still up. That's so it. Sh- yeah. If he somehow survives. <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually know, maybe super he's the, powerful. Maybe he's the big bad. I don't know. That's my All turn. Right. All right. These guys are dead. Let me... Because I only had nine hit points, these guys. And y'all just fucking spiritual guardians just one-tapped them. <laughs> So, Kayla, you're up. Where are they at? Hey, I'll use my reaction to say forward. I march forward until I sense something and hit it. Yo, what's your blind fighting? Ten feet? Ten feet. <clears throat> well, right here, you sense him kind of like in the middle of the hallway. So I'm assuming you want to go all the way up. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit my hammer on my shield and charge up a first level smite and smack him in the face. Does a 15 hit. Let me double check. It would have, but as you come down, like a look, like a uh, aura that is blocking. Like, so he, as he uh, uses reaction to cast shield. What if I use my determination and add three to that to make it an 18? Yes, you can use determination because that'll be meet it, beat it. Fuck yeah. No shield for you. Determination is now gone. Yep, I took it off. Alright, so that I gotta take off stream as well. Guys, if you want to buy determination in, that's also a points reward. Uh, determination means they can add the proficiency bonus to any D twenty roll they want to do. Ooh. Ooh. Uh so that is twenty five damage. Ooh, nice. Can he carry some of that damage forward to like as he casts shield to try to block you, cut right through. Right, so, oh. Didn't have to be this way. I'm going to hit him again. He <laughs> nods his shoulder back into uh, its socket. Hit him again. No smite this time, though. Uh, 19. 19 hits because his AC is now 18. Ooh, boo. Eight damage. Is he still up? Yeah, he's still up, but he okay. is That's fucked fine. up. Uh, and I'll just say, you're not putting anybody else in chains today. And then that'll be my turn. It didn't have to be this way. <sighs> he holds out his hand. How about you just stay right there? And I'm going to need a save from you. What kind of save? It is a wisdom saving throw. I'm going to use one of my advantages. Wise. Please. Please Very wise choice. Is he going to roll two twos? I better not. Why did you do that to me? I rolled two fives. (laughs) (laughs) You fail. Uh, So ten. (laughs) Yeah, uh, yeah. Nico cursed you. Nico cursed you. <laughs> no, no. The Vagabond is giving us luck, guys. That is what's happening. Did you not see? We d- took out four like that. So, luck comes in the good and bad variety. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're getting the luck today. Uh, where is it? I don't know. Uh, What's happening to me? 
into a magical effect on you, I guess. Uh, everybody, you see as Kalis has come down, and he has stopped. He is no longer moving. You are held in place. He casts whole person on you, and you failed it. Is that incapacitated or paralyzed? Paralyzed. I think it's paralyzed. Incapacitated. If you are paralyzed, you are also incapacitated. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, so, so be paralyzed for the duration. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I was marking it on my sheet right. With that, he sees uh, and he's like, he's really hurt. So he is going to run like hell. And remember that there's a uh, difficult train. For how how far out? Fifteen feet for me. Well, all right. So it costs ten feet to move five, and then it's no longer. He is running away. It's far away. And then Verana is up, and then Arnis you're on deck. Um, is he within one hundred twenty feet of Verana? <laughs> yeah. Verona's at top of the stairs, so Verona can't see shit, and y'all right. are clunking up the fucking stairs, so... Alright, um... If she kind of squeezes on in with us, um... Can she get to a point where she can see him? I think squeeze gives disadvantage or something, but, like... Uh, how about this? Uh, where she's at, I'll get... If you're gonna do it in a spell attack, I'll give her disadvantage, because where she's at and it's kind of hard to see. Alrighty, yeah, she's just gonna throw a firebolt at him. Okay. No, that's safe. Nope, nope, got a button. Nine plus, so seventeen to hit. That's with disadvantage. That's so I rolled a fifteen and a nine plus eight, so seventeen. Well, seventeen. <coughs> He's gonna do it again. Shield. Okay. <laughs> That's his reaction. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Um, and she'll she'll kind of unsqueeze so that it's not messing with any of us and and just be okay. in a spot where yeah. That's her turn. Uh, Arnis, you're up. All right. I'm gonna move forward enough so I'm not in behind anybody so I can shoot a crossbow at them. Uh, is it difficult terrain for everybody, Providence, or I think it's for mm -hmm. everybody, right? <laughs> That guys. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. That's what you wrote. It's... I think we just reflavored what was already there. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh... Anyway, uh, what's your moment? 30 feet, Arvin? Uh, 30 feet, yes. 30 is about right there. Okay, perfect. I am going to use my crossbow. Please hit. 19? 19 hits. Okay. Uh, six damage. All right. Six damage. <laughs> He's got to roll for our concentration check. Uh, he succeeds on the concentration. Okay, so I'm going to do something very, very stupid but dangerous. I'm going to use my Misty Step. And you have Misty so Step? I have Misty Step because of my Fae Touched. Okay. And where are you going? Uh, I want to get kind of... 15, 20, 25, 30. You get right, right in front of them. Right in front of them. them. Right in front of them. That's exactly where I want to be. <sighs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> and that's my turn. He, actually, he's kind of like... Ugh. As he's still trying to stumble forward, you peer right in front of him. <laughs> All right, top of the round, Nico. All right. Um, I am going to shoot an arrow at him. And because of my rolls so far, I'm going to use one of my advantages. All right. Somebody marking those off for me. Yep. Oh. 
That is a 16 to miss. 16 misses. Sorry, 17 to miss. 17 misses. Yep. AC currently um, is 18 with the shield yep. up. Yep. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that, that'll be my turn. All right. Providence. Uh, how far away is he? About 35 feet from you. Uh, what is my movement? I don't think I can make it. You got 30 feet. Yeah, I can't make it. Um. Okay. You uh, up and throw your sword at him. I'm not going to throw my sword. Or a dagger or something. Don't you have throwable objects? I will throw a javelin. I'm going to run up, though. All the way up? All the way up and throw a javelin for a 24. 24 hits. That was the damage, actually, Jugan. She automatically hits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, only six damage. Well, uh, he only has four health, so how would you like nice. to do this? Uh, I think the the, um, the the javelin goes right at his throat, and it's just like Pierce's like dead center, like right above the Adam's ap- Adam, uh, Adam's apple, and just kind of like right in there. Right. Oh come Adam. on, blood splatter! Really? Yeah. So oh, um, give me sorry. give me that save, Arnis. As you're sitting there holding him up, the uh, the spear goes right through the throat. And as you're not right out there, this blood splatters all over your face. You're in your currently blinded condition until you take time to wipe it all off. Oh, no. I mean, uh, is, uh, what's the, is your little spiritual animal out right now? Uh, no. No, he's not. It ends after him. an hour, yeah. Uh, has it been an hour? Because it ends after an hour. If it has been an hour, it's gone, yeah. I thought it was like a fine familiar. Mm-mm. No, you only get like a one day using them. Uh, no, I get like an hour use, so I can. Uh, but you dismissed yeah. him, so yeah. Yes, yeah. So we're good. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, Arwenus. I can't see. Uh, as as you as he drops down to the ground, Kalis has his movement again, and he almost falls on his face as he catches himself. All right, out of combat initiative, I guess we'll go then. Nobody's talking. So, Providence, what are you doing? Uh, Arvinus, are you okay? Um, did, did the javelin hit you? Also, could I have it back? No, um, no, I, the javelin didn't hit me, but the blood spot I got <laughs> in my eye and I can't see. I need to wipe this out. Oh my gosh, now I know how Kalis feels. Oh my god, I am so sorry, Kalis, for everything I've done. Kalis is not even there. Oh. <laughs> he got up and walked away. I don't know what he said. Oh, he's a BRB. That's all. Yeah. Well, there he is. Okay. Uh, with with that, I think I think Providence would probably go up to the doors. The the, and I think she can see or at least hear people inside. Yeah, you can. See Are you guys okay? All, they're all chained up, and they're non like like their eyes. There's a like they're like a black glow over their eyes. Ooh. I don't. I think this was too easy. That. That was way too easy. Well, I don't think this is the end. Uh, wow. but can but I get to go to my eyes, please? I hand you a right, pull a, a rag out of the bag. Thank you. I'm gonna get this blood out of my eyes. Ugh. <clears throat> can we get these people out of here? Um, yeah. We should, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Providence will be trying to open the northern cage. I'm gonna be... Can- Digging through this guy's pockets for keys. Okay, uh, roll me investigation check. Can I can I help with that? Sure. Thanks. But just take advantage. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Three. <laughs> it's still a nine. 
I'm just going to grab him by his ankles and shake. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> uh, his... Uh, which one are you searching? The, 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 one... the, the guy that held person me. He was the one that seemed okay. the took the most to take down. One who was talking at the beginning? Yeah. Uh, what drops down is a dagger and a little amulet. And... Um, I'll say, I find a set of cell key or a set of skeleton keys uh, fall down to the ground. Um, can I? Can I? Do you mind if I take that amulet just to study it later? What amulet? Uh, sorry, here. Um, I'll hold up the three, the dagger, the amulet, and the keys that fell. Um, okay. If you want to uh, give the keys to Prue. Uh, thank you. Here. She will immediately start unlocking things. Um, and, and then, then there's a yeah. Take take it. Cool. Do you want a dagger? Anyone need a dagger? Mm -mm. No. No. Um, also, Jugan, I'm assuming oh. that since I missed all three of my shots, my arrows are broke. No, oh, they just sl they slid across the ground. So. Okay. Am I able to get a couple of them back? How many did you shoot? Four. Three. Three. What does shot four? I don't. I only get two two attacks on my first round for now. Oh, that's right. Can oh, I get so my crossbow should... back too? You get one of them are safely. Uh, the other two are slightly damaged. You might need to mend them or whatever. But other in the yeah, one is reusable right away. The other one, the other two, you might need to take mending spell or something to fix okay. them. But, awesome, thank you. Um, and your crossbow is still in the back of the body. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull that right out. Here. Got it. Um, and and the amulet has the same the symbol for. Um, uh, as you look at the amulet, the amulet is a shape of a uh, hand mirror. Okay. And is it reflective? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. But it's like, like it's like it's super small. Yeah, I'm still gonna take care to not really like be looking into it or anything just now. I'm gonna save it for later. Um, but so I'm gonna like kind of cover it and put it in a in my pouch. Um, do you think the move? Wisdom saving throw, Nico. Oh, man. Wisdom saving throw. Ooh, big 10. I'm rolling so good today, guys. Does we 10 work? <laughs> 10, yeah. Oh, that's, I saw a nine, but that's his investigation check. You were on real dice. Okay. Um, you feel the presence of something as you hold this. And nonchalantly, you almost want to just immediately drop it. Because you feel something is... Yeah. It doesn't feel good. Mm hmm Um... Yeah. It's almost like the wrenching of like you feel like like a migraine coming on. You cannot like you do not want to take this hit if you keep holding this. Um, if I if I drop it into my pouch, um, do I still feel that? Yes. Yeah. Back Just it's like a hand mirror. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I'll maybe grab it on the way out. I'm, I need to think about this. But, but I'm gonna place it back down on the. I'm gonna place it on the floor, like right next to uh, one of the cell doors, uh, with the reflective side down, if that's possible. Okay, that's fine. And as soon as you let it down, you feel the relief. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Providence. Uh, there's, there's like, so it's like a warden set of keys. Like, there's about like, I don't know, like a good fifty keys on it. I will try the first five, and if one of them doesn't work, she's gonna start bashing the door with her sword. All right, higher whoa, low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I was like, I'll low. just kick the door in if I have to. Always high. Yeah. 
All right, so 63 it is. So uh, as you're looking at the keys, you only check the five keys. You see, like, there's two. There is one. Oh. There's five keys are much bigger than the rest. And you probably gathered, even with your light studies in cleric, clerici and all these little fancy keys I used to. You remember, you know, the big ones are the ones that still big lots and of course these cages have big lots so yeah uh so you try those five and you're able to get one to unlock this door oh my sure is easier all right she's gonna turn around and open up the the southern door as well if she can yeah uh it's also one of the big keys Are they each individually chained up? Yes. Oh man, that's a lot of keys. But uh, they're like non-responsive to you as you guys walk in. Hmm. What? Anybody know what's going on? They're not. They're not saying anything. Could um, it be a spell? I don't know. It's just weird. Their eyes are weird. Their Can souls keep chasing us in the shadows. Can I go up to They're probably one empty of them? husks. Yeah. Can I go up to one and do like a medicine check to see try to figure out if this is like if there's a physical aspect to this? Anyone you want to go to specifically to? Uh I will go to the Um the the dude in the north room who's holding a sword in the corner. Sorry? What? Can you please put Providence by the prettiest girl yeah. in the southern room? Oh my god. This one right here, <laughs> which was Lagatha's old character. Uh, Lagatha's miniature from Icewind Dale. Uh, yeah, it's probably be about that one. Um, yep. Do a medicine check. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that is Providence, uh, Ernest, or so Glitch, what are you doing? Yeah, just looking at all the people chained up. Make sure all their eyes are the same. Oh, they are. The front, top, or north or south room? Oh, sorry. I guess that makes, I'll just go to the top room. Start and working my way around. You guys can't really see it on your camera, but there is a door right here. I no figured so, but. To go to the room with all the bodies and start looking at them, checking out the bodies. North or southern? North, please. Okay. And then, uh, we the north. Right, yeah. stay in the hallway, I guess. Chris, so I'm just gonna come into the southern room with me, <clears throat> and he'll do a medicine check as well. Okay. What'd y'all get on your medicine checks? I got a twenty-one. Assam is getting a 21 as well. Alright. And. Uh, Glitch, what'd you get? I can't beat any of that, but. Um, 10? 10 is not. I mean, 10 was a DC, so. They're all Damn. breathing. They're all. Like, you feel the heart beeping, but it's like. Like. It's like an empty vessel. But their bodies are whole. They're breathing. They're actively kind of screaming in pain but their eyes are completely black is it black like Isam's eyes go blacker Ooh. Ooh. can we at least unchain them and then maybe if we break whatever is going on with them they can just run might be a good idea but it, it could backfire too they could be descending on us if Whoever's controlling them. What if we Two. let's just unchain unchain one of them and uh, maybe if like Pro Providence and Kalis, can you be ready to try to like restrain the person if they try if they start to attack? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so I guess we'll go into the north room and and, and try and unchain one person. 
still hand Nico the keys. It's not this one. Okay. I'll put my hammer and shield away. Um, I learned from my cleric trainings that the smaller locks need the smaller keys. Um. That, that's huh. just normal knowledge. That's a good course to uh, have. Nico, roll me a d6. D6? Key. Two. Two. It takes you about two minutes to find the key that you need for this lock. Nope, not that one. So yeah, in this two minutes, Providence, what are you doing? Come on, what are you waiting for? It's not that hard. I found the curse key, like, immediately. Yep, you're better than this than I am. That's nice. Um, Arwen is just going to back out a little bit and look at the door that's closed. Yeah. Make sure nothing comes through it. Since they're I'm doing all, that. I am know. also in there with uh, Providence to okay. restrain this guy if anything goes wrong. Mm-hmm. Especially because he's in the ho- in the corner of holding a sword. I don't know why I chose the sword guy to unlock first. I mean... So I don't have chained up miniatures, so none of them have weapons. <laughs> They're all chained to the wall like this. All right, just use your imagination. All right, imagination. Yeah, and then I don't know what we do in this game. I mean, <laughs> I guess I should. Yeah, I then, thought I thought I didn't need to explain that, but you know, it's good for identification which ones you want to go to. But just keep in yeah. mind they're all just like that. All right. And, uh, yeah, and then I guess eventually just, like, it clicks. Like, there we go. Unlocked it. I'm ready to try to catch the person if they fall, and hopefully they don't try to attack me. Uh, so they're chained up to the thing, so they just kind of slide down to the okay. lamp on the wall. Um, they, but they still look, like, in the same condition? They look canatonic, like uh, as they were before. Okay. Are, is it still, like, screaming or whatever? It's just like, it's like, like, uh, like all, of, like every now and then, all of them kind of do that. Okay. All right. Um, since that's not going to help, what do you guys think about just getting through this place and trying to? Uh, maybe there's like a ritual happening in the next room. Maybe. Maybe, but shouldn't we just unlock all of these people? Like, it would probably be easier to do it while, I hate to say it, they're not struggling against us. We could be in here for, like, two hours doing that, though. I mean, unless they all use the same key, and I'll just go to the next person and try the same key. Uh, Is it the same key for... For the next person's lock? No. Yeah. So it's like we got about fifty keys that we need to go through for for them all. Did you look and see if they were labeled? Because no. my dad always labeled my keys with little ridges on them, so I knew which keys were what. I look at the keys. Are they labeled? They're just skeleton keys. They're not labeled. Skeleton key generally implies that it unlocks every lock. I. Oh, I was saying. thinking it's like. Oh, it means literally. Yeah, I, I was thinking. I was thinking the old timey big keys yeah. is called skeleton keys. Uh, yeah, yeah. The I skeleton know. key was the key that opened every lock in the house. Well, then what do you call those old timey ones? The big ones are. Uh... I think they were just giant ass keys. I, I okay, they're just giant them. ass keys. They're not skeleton keys. Then. Yeah. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, uh, fortunately, they're not labeled, but that it's good thinking on your dad's part. Um. But yeah, like we could be in here for a couple hours trying to get them all. I reach up and like, how are they fastened to the wall? On a bar around the wall. So there's just like a bar? There's a bar around the wall and they're all fastened to it. This one, she just is now not in the paints. Providence, can, does it look like we just ripped that bar out of the wall? Um, I think we can just try. Here, uh, she's gonna wedge her sword down into the bar. And she's like, Kalis, uh, put your hand with me right here. And I'll we both have a hand on the up. hilt. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna push my foot up against the wall and we're gonna pull down as hard as we can. I'm gonna roll something for Fane. Verana? Uh, 
Well, I'm sorry, I keep saying Fane because it was Fane's miniature, now it's Verana. Uh, what's Verana's uh, investigation plus? Uh, she Hard has on. investigation uh, is just a is just a plus one. Plus one, ten. Uh, Verana walks in over the side on the other side because nobody checked the doors. They just kind of locked them. And on the inside, there's a latch. It's like, uh, what does this latch do? Do you want to pull it? As Providence and I are just like ripping at what? the wall. Yeah. Just pull it. Yeah. Just, uh, well, is going to say pull it. First. So, as they're pulling the bar, uh, all the chains unhook from the bar. They're still in their chains, but they're not attached to the bar anymore. And they all just kind of slide down to the ground. Isam, do it to the other one. Isam does. Like, you mean this one? Mm -hmm. All right, he does it, and they drop down to the ground. They're still in chains, but they're not chained to the wall now. Oh, problem solved. Alrighty. Cool, we cool, cool. did it, Providence. Yeah. Uh, can you just help me get my sword out of the wall now? Yeah. <laughs> Um, just, just uh, for next time you're trying to do that, I did put a crowbar in the bag of holding. Oh. Oh. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. What's a crowbar? Oh, it's like um, a bar that has a little bit of a curve that you can use to pry open like boxes and crates. Oh. That's neat. <laughs> they just have for tools for everything. Yeah. I actually gave it to you to put in there, but. Barnley's that's... in. Yes. <laughs> And it crouts like a crow whenever you use it. That is I, I am digging it out. <laughs> <laughs> it is not I'm just kidding. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. If Kalis actually uses it, just seeing his, his excitement for it, I will attempt a, ca a crow call. <laughs> but... But okay. you, you given know that you travel around Kalis enough, he has advantage on sight and hearing. He definitely yep. knows it's not coming from the crowbar. That's yeah. fine. Right, okay. So shall, shall we go uh, in this thing and uh, begin yeah. with it? Yes. Yeah. Let's get there. Should we leave them a note? Um. How dusty is this place? It's not dusty at all. It's like well kept. Creepy. And you probably lock him back up. All right, I'm just gonna go to one of the guys that are bleeding and just like. De they're not. They're not bleeding. They're that are dead, but because we. One of the one the of the previous guys we killed. She's using the blood from the cultists. Oh, cultists. Cult. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the prisoners. Yeah. Never mind. My, like my like head. Kayla's almost smashed one of their heads in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with his yeah. hammer. Yeah. And the uh, spiritual guardians like brutally murdered them as well. Yeah. So. All right. But yeah. All um, right. What are we writing? <laughs> just we're coming back. If you can leave and save yourselves. All right. Thank you. They don't know which way to go like that. We're coming back. Save yourselves, and then an arrow <laughs> pointing towards the outside. Uh, oh, yeah, should I it. write it in more languages? I think common will be good. Okay, let's go. All right, you guys ready? Just... Oh, and get authorities. I... <laughs> Give me a performance check, Nico. <laughs> uh, that is a five on the dice for a three total. So instead of it being like, we're coming back and sounding friendly, it's like, I'm coming back. No, I, I picture more the blood is already coagulating already. And like, and it's more like smeary. So you, I imagine you'd be like, screw it. I'm going to abbreviate most of these words. I'm not writing all this. <laughs> so, yeah, that works too. Either way, it's a message written in blood and an arrow pointing towards the door or towards the stairs. That isn't but. creepy at all. <laughs> no one told me it was a bad idea. I went with it. All right. Um, all right. Hey, well done. I don't know what you're writing with. All right. Uh, we'll go. Stomach? We'll go. That was probably so. Let's go. Glitch. What are you doing? 
Well, if that's all been dealt with, then we'll go to the door. All right, what are you doing with the door? Yet. It is locked. I'm going to put my ear. Blow it open. Where's the keys? Nico. Nico has. I do. All Four. right. Well, we'll um, cool. And I will look, and it has a big lock, hopefully. So I will grab a big key. Well, we know two of them go there, so there should be three left options. Yep. I'm just going to open the door. Even enough, it opens up. Yeah. And I'll just kind of over my shoulder whisper to Providence, I'm getting better at it. Yeah, you did really good. She might not know that I'm being facetious, but, you know, whatever. So the door opens up to like almost like a T-shaped hallway. And uh, you can either go left or right. Uh, do we want to go would... like... Three and four? Let's, or do we want to go seven one way or the let, other? Let's stick together. Okay. Um, left or right? When in doubt, choose left. That's what my dad always said. All right, let's go left then. Well, and your dad had some good ideas with the keys, so yeah. My dad it. has great ideas about everything. There we go. We're going left. All right. Uh, probably say marching order. Yeah. Yeah. It's been working for us so far. Oh. Providence, Kayla, Isam, me, Nico. Okay. Uh, Providence, as you round the turn, you can see all the way down the hallway because it's ever leading flames throughout this. You see a door to the right, and you also see another sail, uh, sail door down the bottom left. Uh, Kalis? I'm going to walk mm-hmm. up to the door to the right and listen in. Oh, I guess she'll have to tell me, but... Yeah, Kalis is a door on the right, but there's also... I think there's more prisoners down on the left. Okay, what's the door look like? The door? It's just a wooden door. Okay. Uh, Let's go, go up check. to it. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I want to go up to the wooden door. And I just want to... Lean and listen in. I'll go with him just in case. Right. Sword drawn. Uh, give me a perception check and with advantage because you are listening. Twenty one. Uh, it's eerie quiet. You don't really hear anything. Other than the, other than the chains from this room down here. Okay. Uh, I don't hear anything in there, but obviously there are more chains down to the left. Yeah. Uh, Province is going to go back to the group and just relay everything. She's like, there's more people on the far left, but there's a door and we don't hear anything behind it. Do we want to rescue the people or do we uh, want to go in We can door? send Isam to go open the doors and then come meet us again. I, I really think we should just try to deal with with the problem with the problem because we're not I, actually helping them by having them sit on the floor in there Kalis is like Nico. kind of standing up with his leg prepared to like kick the door in just waiting for you guys to say Kalis we have keys for him to Kalis, Kalis, oh not. yeah I put my foot back down oh, I agree have you tried opening the go. door have you tried using well it's not I will jiggle the door handle when they get closer okay they is in my friends Alright, I guess we'll do it. Yeah. Uh, the door is not locked. I kind of like, I slowly open it and I turn back to Providence and I was like, I know the polite thing to do is knock, but I think we're like issuing just open, just open for it. today. Okay, open. <laughs> what do you see? And I kind of like. <laughs> it opens out to you. He does not push in, so it opens out. Oh, well, then I pull it. Uh, A bunch of beds. And then I... You see a bunch... You see uh, three sets of bump beds. 
I'm sorry, six sets of bunk beds, three on each side. Uh, you also see, uh, I forgot to put them on there, but uh, a few uh, trunk cases and stuff in there. Uh, this is, get the vibe, this is probably where people, the cultists sleep when they're here. I'm gonna walk in. And is there anyone in there? No, I, it's empty. I'll just go, hello? I'm going in as well. Okay. Uh, you get no response. Uh, Providence is going to prod one of the chests with their sword. Okay. I am going to flick my uh, amulet and cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. Detect Thoughts. How far does it go? 30 feet. Okay. Uh, you don't detect any thoughts in this location, but you do detect Providence's thoughts of like trying to get this uh, thing open. Okay. I'll, I'll keep it up for now, so I'm concentrating. Okay. Uh, Last for how long? 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to move past them and see if there's anything else after seeing, peeking and seeing nothing around. Like, okay, this is weird. All right, Providence, uh, it's not locked, so I don't know if you just want to open it or not. Uh, she's going to open it, just see what's inside. Uh, you find, uh... You find like a a reddish potion in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me Arcana check. Sure. That's a six. You're not sure. It feels very warm to touch, though. Miko. Yep. Yep. I'm coming. I'll go in. What is this? Uh, do. Do you want me to spend like 10 minutes right now figuring that out? No, I just thought you were the smartest person here. Um, Glitch? Um, let me I <laughs> try to figure it out. You want to do Arcana check as well? No. Sure. Let the smartest person figure it out. <laughs> um, well, she obviously of... thinks you're the second smartest person because she called for you next, which <laughs> is out of seven of us. It's pretty good. What'd okay, you get, Nico? You met us? I got a 16 total. There are eight of us? <laughs> no, there, uh, there are... There Lynch, are what's your passive investigation? That's... Oh, 18? Really? Oh, nice. Well, I'm the one with the passive investigation. No, no, no. I'm giving him something else. Calm down. Nico, oh. you, you're you coming in to look at this thing, and you re re quickly I'm see it as... Anything, a, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nico, you quickly see that it's a potion of fire breath. Mm. Uh, Nico, you, you see like, or no, sorry, Nico, glitch as you walk in, you, oh, something catches your eye on the left. There's like a, like a little round, like, uh, container, uh, sitting on top of, uh, one of the, uh, like desk or whatever, not desk, tables, in tables to one of the, uh, to your left. Well, then I will go over to it and look at it only. All right. Uh, Maybe check for traps. Uh, you look at it, and it has written on the top of it, because why not? Uh, it's an ornament. It's uh, spelt K-E-O-G-H-T-O-M. Kikotom's ointment. Uh, it you can, uh, it has three doses on it. Uh, uh what, I know what that is. <laughs> uh, give me our kind of check. The player has never heard of that. <laughs> um, 11. <laughs> 11, uh, it's not a high, but, uh, it, it's, you can rub it on your skin. It essentially is, you can restore some hit points with it. But it's an actual magical okay. item you can add. Okay. To your inventory. But it um, is an uh, ointment. It has three doses. You can do it three times. I will hand it to Kalis. It's not here, but yeah. <laughs> here's a 
healing cream for you when you would you like to run up in this battle without seeing the yeah. uh, province do you mind if I uh, give this to Arwenus? it's it's to do with fire and I know that she does a lot with fire yeah, if you think it'll help her cool thank you and I'll start walking out of the room to go to where Arwenus is All right, let's go tell, let's go ahead. Come. Providence, what are you doing in this moment? Uh, were there any other crates that are, or crates or boxes that needed opening? Yeah, uh, there's roughly about the same amount. If you want to just want to toss a room, I'll give it to you. All right. Uh, I'll say in this room, you also see uh, curled up in one of the crates, uh, about six uh, rolled up paintings. You want to grab those um you want to if you want to look at them or not i'll just throw them on a bag uh one catches your eye the reason why you want to grab them one looks like an image of your god i'll absolutely take the the the, the, the paint well i'll take them all but definitely the painting of Silfrena. so you find six paintings they're worth 250 gold pieces each uh, but one of them definitely you see the image of your god on it. You get the feeling so this is a painting of your god. Um, and that's about all you see in this uh, and here right now. Okay. Um, any of value anyway. We keep going. Oh, yeah, sorry. Spitting out. Um, yeah, we should get heading moving forward. Uh, re re real quick, Arwenus. Uh, the, this was in, in that room back there. It, um, if you drink it, it uh, gives you some fi fire breathing. Ooh, okay. Sure. You're, you're the uh, on, most fire using one. Besides Rana. Yeah. Uh, what would you I like will to definitely do? take it. Uh, I'm gonna start heading towards the end. Um, if Nico wants to follow with the keys, yeah, you know, unlock everyone else, and then. As you uh, get to go. The, where uh, uh, Arnis, as you get to the end, out from this doorway, you hear some chanting. Uh, guys, there's chanting. We need to move. This door over here in the middle. Guys. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Guys. Providence runs up. Same order with with probably with Kalis as well. Um, I'll I'll pass you the key ring. Uh, I'll open the door since I'm in the middle, while you guys get straight in front of me. Since, the, open the door and pull the lever if there's another one there. Oh, I thought we were leaving them until we finished dealing with all the problems. Well, yeah, I'm releasing them so if they do get free, they can bolt out. They're still chained together. I know. They're I know. Enough. I just figured they're in torment, and we can get okay. them okay. not hurt. But it's fine. We can do that too. Just doing this one because the other one it's going to be too far, and by the time we get okay, never mind. What are we doing? Uh, Providence is by the door on the far left, on the on the western side. Uh, I'm assuming Isam's going to be roughly behind me, and Kalis has stepped out for I think a phone call. So I'm going to yes. yes. Uh, we're going to assume probably a standing order, uh, so put Kalis beside me as well. Um, does he pick up thoughts from in there? No. Uh, it just still does not. Uh, but uh, I'm assuming we're getting ready to bust through this door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about this? We'll go ahead and take our break, and uh, right. we'll take a 10 minute break. Yeah, and... yeah. And I get set up for the rest of the map as well. So, guys, we'll take our 10 minute break. So, and uh, we'll be right back, guys. Uh, remember, $50 donations get you some these fancy little bracelets and uh, some stickers that uh, you can put on everywhere, like these stickers. Yeah. <sighs> guys, we'll be right back. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. What uh what would you you want to strategize while I update you guys initiatives? We already pre-rolled of our combat initiative, so I'm gonna update those stream as y'all wanna kinda talk about what y'all wanna do before you go through this door. <clears throat> hey, Alice, do you hear anything? Uh yeah, I would like to listen at the door. Uh it goes about thirty feet, right? Yeah. No, nope, you do not hear any thoughts. But but we still hear the chanting coming from somewhere back there, correct? You heard chanting, but he does not hear like thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay so um, they're at least thirty feet out. So we're expecting a battle really soon, right? Probably. Probably. I mean, okay. Yeah. Probably. As all of their friends so far. So first of all, I, I'm I'm really sorry. I don't know. Something's been wrong with me lately. Um. Just uh, maybe I'm a little bit off today, but um, it, it ends here now. Um, I trust all of you, and we're gonna get through this. It'll be fine. Uh, so I'm gonna activate emboldening bond. I'll give it to myself, to Nico, and to Kalis. Okay. Uh, and she's gonna turn to Arwenus, and she's gonna be like, "I'm sorry I made fun of you about the." Uh, about being old. It was just sometimes I get carried away with Fane. Um, but uh, I think you're a great leader. Uh, and she's also going to cast um, Sanctuary on you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, and don't worry. It, I am older than all of you, but... It's, a, it's an elf thing. So... Yeah. Okay? Yeah, just try to not get hurt. I will do my best as long as I don't attack either. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see what we do. Also, if it, I don't know if you have this magic ability, but like if I'm ever like right up next to people, I can like bunch them up. And if you want to, you can just like throw like really big magic spells at me. It'll be fine. Like, just like fireball me. It's totally okay. I sadly do not have that, but that is good to know. I will let, uh, if I, some, I get something similar, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. I can take it. So what's the plan? Just rush in? Well, I guess our two tanks going first. The tank. Uh, sorry. Uh, you guys two. are. That's you and Kalis. You guys okay. hit our not squishy. Uh, probably be our best bet. And then we'll go Nico. Okay. Yes, me, then Glitch will come up, and then Isam. Also, guys, just, just saying, um, I, you, most of you probably saw it when we were fighting in the cafeteria, but if we can get some enemies in a line and you guys aren't also in that line, um, I can use Blitz. What's Blitz? My What's javelin that? that turns into lightning. How much does it hurt? A lot. Like, how much? Uh... Like, I'm not a paralyzed lot more anymore. Of, um, like, potentially almost half of, of your life. I can take it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. She can't take it. She can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nico's intelligence is pretty good, but her charisma is real low. She. How's your wisdom? It's, it's decent. Not as high as it could be for a ranger, but, you know. Alright, are we doing this? Let's do it. Glitch, right. is there anything you need to do? How long does the sanctuary last? Forever. <clears throat> yep. And it's not concentration. I thought it only lasted a minute. I was making up forever, if that's really the case. Cool. I don't think it is, no. <laughs> For whatever it's worth, it's going to be the last thing I do. <laughs> okay, so it is a minute? I don't know. I haven't. I'm checking. Okay. I think it's more than a minute. I think it's like an, 10 minutes or an hour, isn't I it? No, it's one minute. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> let's go. Okay. I open the door. All right. You open the door and... It's a little, sh it's a shorter hallway, but you see two doors to the left and to the right, and you see another big door straight ahead. 
All right, guys, let's just keep going. Beeline it to that other door. Yeah, we'll investigate on the way back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, the chanting's coming from the big door, isn't it? Uh, Providence, Kalis, Isam, the rest. Yep. We're going to use Kalis as our hunting dog to track down where the chanting is coming from. Correct. in a miniature <laughs> uh as you get closer to the door Kalis um you start getting flooded with thoughts you get like it's almost time we're coming mother Please continue to accept us. We have lost our way. I turn it off so I don't have the distraction. <laughs> yeah, you hear multiple of these. Of you get other ones of like, it's like they're coming with us. They'll see your love and wealth. This whole city of people will come to you in your realm. Uh no and so I just, <laughs> I just turn around and looks at providence and i'm like we're it, it's time let's go and i check to see if the door is unlocked it is locked it's locked mm -hmm. Nico, and i keys. motion keys Right, earlier in the other room, I did say that I tossed the keys to Providence so she could just unlock because I figured she'd be at the front. Thank oh. you. Um, She's going to uh, take the biggest key and open it and use it. Does not open. The next biggest key. Does not open. The next biggest key. Kick it. The next I'm biggest gonna, key. You, you after, the th <laughs> after the third key, I kick the door in. All right. Uh, Roman Athletics check on the door. Like, How about this one? 19. 19. Uh, the door opens outward. As you kick in, you kick a <laughs> hole through the door. And uh, if it wasn't for your armor, you probably cut up your leg. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing armor. So, oh, but fourth key. <laughs> uh, but you bust it open where you can swing it open. And uh, I, guess, I guess, like, I pull it open as I'm trying to pull my leg out. Yeah, I was going to say, much. if not, you could just reach through the hole and grab it to... Yeah. All right, well done, screen. buddy. Well done. Let me set up what we got going on. We've got two skeleton keys in our group. chanting kind of stops actually no it does not uh the one what you walk into you see like this circle like in the ground is start is glowing and uh like these start like is of sh it's like bright white but it's also got the hue of shadows all around and uh up, up top is this, uh, on top of the little pedestal there is somebody with a book and he has summoned a spell, like a spell type book. And, um, and he is still chanting while the others kind of turn to look at you. And this one all the way over there is like, we have an invited guest. The door was unlocked. Deal with them. And they all start turning to rush at you. And we already rolled initiative, so may get y'all into the room, I guess.
All righty. All right, Kalis. So Kalis and Providence, you're both throw net 20, so you get a surprise round. So uh, let's do with Kalis since you had the highest roll. So Kalis, what is your surprise round? What do you want to do? You still want to uh, I'm. Oh, yeah, you dropped your... Five, yeah. So. Uh, but I am going to kind of like look to my friends and be like, close your eyes. And I'm going to run forward. I sense at least three of those guys. I would yeah. like to try and push through them if possible into the middle of the circle. Sure. I don't so know as you, there. as you try to push through them, you get stopped about where they're at because something is forcing you out. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use my channel divinity, so I need every buddy within a 30 foot radius of me. Where did that go? I thought the keyword was lemons. What? I thought you, your code word was lemons for this. I, I have zero recollection of that. I'm sorry. You don't mean persimmon, right? No, that was the dagger. Persimmon. That, that was, was the dagger. dagger. Lemons was the uh, eye cover. Oh. Then, yeah, I'll yell lemons. So, everybody... Eco has no idea what that is. Cover your eyes. <laughs> well, how long does it last, though? Uh, I think it... Till, uh It's just one turn. But oh, everybody okay. needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Even if we close our eyes? Uh, no, it's just it creatures that can see me. Okay. Oh, I turned away. Yeah, but if you want to see and try to do anything, you have to un... You have to try to look and you're... It's gonna be lit the fuck up. Because my body is now glowing like a star. As this whole room lights the fuck up. Uh, everybody needs to make con saves? Yep, 15. Of course you would do this, and I have so many enemies on the board. Yep. <laughs> don't give me this? a cool AoE blind if you don't want me to use it. All right, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to roll one dice. It's going to be all for uh, those guys, and I'll roll separate ones for the other ones. I rolled net one, so all these fuckers are blind, except for <laughs> I'm going to do for the other guys, because they actually have different stat blocks. Ah, of course, Safoon is going to roll natural 20, and then uh, you say con, the other one will get a six. Actually, no, it doesn't matter for this guy, because his eyes are kind of shade that shade black. He is... In the middle of, doing so he's research. already blind. He's he's like he's focusing on the spell okay. that they're or the ritual they're doing. So his role doesn't matter. All of them are blind except for Safoon, which okay. you do not know which one is Safoon yet. I don't have that many blind markers, so I'm not putting blind on all of them. Okay. Uh, Providence. Hold on. Oh wait. Oh, what else you got? I don't know, just in case I have a bonus action. Un momento. No, I'm good. All right. Uh, uh, go ahead, Providence. What's your... uh, she's going to run up north. Um, Give me a con. The first guy. Give me a con save. Because it's bright as hell in here. Or bright as a middle of a star. That's an 18. Does that beat you, Kalis? Yep, you're good. Uh, you're glowing with radiant all the time, so you're kind of used to it, but this is brighter than normal, and you, somehow you're able to focus and see where you're going. So where are you going? Uh, well, first of all, I'm yelling out, Kalis, that is beautiful. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's going to run up to the, the first, the, 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 the guy at the top right corner, uh, and she's going to... Um, 
she's going to activate her right uh, her righteous fury. So let me roll a two. What is a two? <clears throat> teleportation. Ooh. Okay, so what does teleportation do? Um, tele it's whoever's... basically Misty's step for. Yeah, all but it specifically you... says from where you yeah. left must succeed on it. Everybody, every creature within fifteen feet from me must take a. Uh, a dexterity saving throw or take 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save. Yeah. But it's a bonus action to do, so you use your bonus action to rage this turn. You won't be able to do it this turn. Nope. Uh, until your rage... Sorry, what was it? Uh, you teleport to a, 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 a to an area that you can see. Uh, then until your rage ends, you can use this effect again on each of your turns as a bonus action. So it's, it... My so rage is like my bonus... Immediately. Yeah. Oh, where are you teleporting to then? Um... There, there seems to be a guy up on the on the top there. I'm going right behind him. <laughs> you said 30 feet? Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You cannot get there. What? Well, how, how close can I get? Well, you move there, and you immediately do it when you rage. You were in... Like 30 feet is right in front of him, which is in the middle of the bubble that forced Kalis out. So as you do it, it shows you back out. So well put me on the put me on the side put, of the stairs uh, then. Yeah, on the side. Well you use fifteen feet to get there, that's when you rage and you said it immediately happens, so you have to choose where you're at right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up as, as close as I can to the guy. Oh, you wanna go so you wanna teleport over here. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, I thought you said you want to run and then do it. I'm like, no, no, that's not how that works. No, and then they have to, everybody around 15 feet from where I left has to give a DC. Um, oh, shoot, what is the DC? Um, 8 plus proficiency is 10 plus con is... 15 feet? Yeah. yeah, 15 feet around. Everybody has to give me a con save, which that's is all, that's also Kalis. 14. Yeah, sorry, Kalis. That's fine. You said 15? Yeah, 15 feet. Is, uh, it's a DC 14. That's three of them, so I'm just roll. Okay, I failed. Uh, it's Sorry, Kalis. So you're fine. Uh, so it's 11 radiant damage. Uh, that's a 13, 9, and an 18. So one saved, I'm assuming. What's the save? Uh, 14. 14. So two failed. And what is... Uh, how much damage 11 is 11 or half, so 11 or 6. All right, 11 or 6. All right, so this one is going to take 11 damage. This one is going to take 11 damage. That did not take that damage. Okay, that's cool. Don't do not do the, what I inputted. Lovely. Okay. Oh, no. Boom. All right, and then you teleport. What are you doing? Teleport. Uh, then I'm going to, where are my, my sheet isn't showing me my attacks. Uh, be under actions. Yeah, no, I, I can't see act. Oh, there it is, all the way at the down. I see what it did. Um, great sword attacking whoever's closest to me, and that's gonna miss because it's a I don't know a ten or something. Uh, ten will miss. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, come on, go back up. All right, those are your surprise rounds. So back. Caleb. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. It is a 14. 14 what? Because uh, I had to emboldening bond. All right, who are you attacking? I need to know which one. Um, Whoever's closest to the guy at the top. I'm so, cutting my way through to him. All right. Um, So you peered the one in front of you, which has a staff of the blue goal. So that's the one you're attacking. And it's a how much to hit? Uh, 14. Uh, 14 misses. Okay. As you come in to swing at it, uh, it shimmers off like something magical is around his body that shimmers off your blade. Hmm. Annoying. All right. All right. Kalis, what are you doing? So anyway, I just started bopping. <laughs> bopping? So I guess the guy right next to me yep. is going to get a hammer to the head. You got two right on each side of you. Which one, north or south? North. Okay. 
And then they are all currently blind, right? Yes. Okay. Until so, your next turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 27 to hit. Yeah. Ooh, max damage. 14 damage. 14 damage. That's the one to the north. Yeah, he's dead. Yep. Because he already took he already took damage from her. Yeah. Uh, then I'm turning to the south, and I will do a smite on this one. So I'll smack the star on my hammer, uh, on my shirt. Remember, we were the old way. You can remember we were better the old way. Yeah, I know. I'm just not one to blow through all of my spell slots. So a first level. Look at biscuits. Advantage. Oh, so close to a dot 20. Uh, 15 plus a D4 for emboldening bond. 16. 16 hits. Ha. Okay. 3D8 plus 6. Uh, 17 plus 6, 23. 17 plus 6, 23. 23. Yeah. Yeah. How do you want to describe that hit? Because you fucking crumple them right there. I'm just, I'm just, like, I'm hitting them right where their shoulder meets their neck and just dropping them. And then I'm moving on. So I'll just move down to the south and just stand there and growl. All right. All right. And then, Nico, you're up. Well, um, when he that was the surprise round, though. I, I think I know that at least Kalis is has a higher initiative than me. He just went it, it, for the surprise to... round. Was that not? Or yeah, was that that, a, no, no, yeah, yeah. So it should be Providence, and then no, Nico got a twenty-four. Oh, yeah. alrighty. Um, <laughs> also, no, no, that's fine. Um, can I? I don't know. I'm going to oh, no, oh, no, make no. my way into the room. All right, you're going to have to make a con save because of Kalis's thing. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Oops. That, <laughs> that's going to be a fail probably, but um, that's a 10. So I'm, I'm blind or whatever. It's a con that's... save of 15. Yeah. That's not I'm good walking for and it's just you're blinded by because you're not you haven't been around this at all with K this nope. does this and you're just like holy shit. Yep. Um guys, I made my character really observant. Like basically took a feat called observant, so I see all of the light. Um and I'm gonna just Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda back up against the wall and uh I'll cast I'll cast a Zephyr Strike on myself, um, but that'll be my turn. Zephyr Strike is that a concentration or concentration? Uh, it is concentration, yes. All right. All right, Providence, you're up again. Uh, let's go ahead and bonus action and hop up to the top of that dais right up there. And let's let's go ahead and hit the big guy. Good lord. How is this happening? Because you use your crit on the, the initiative roll. Uh yeah, that's again. Three, as you're, that's three nats one this come, entire as you come down, it's just like something magical is keeping you from hitting him. Yeah. Also they have to do a deck save. Or take 2d den damage. All the ones from down there? Yeah. Well, all the ones that I just moved from. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm saying, yeah, those guys. That is 16. Ooh. All right. Uh, 16. Uh, what is half of that? Uh, eight. Oh, well, actually, they both fail. All right, so second to the last. So, so 16? 16. 
Wow. Uh, it has exactly 16 hit points. How do you kill that one? I, it just crumples underneath the wave of, of, of the intensity of, of my uh, radiant energy that's, that's flowing out of me. I expect there's burning. Uh, problem is, as you do this, the one down there with the staff clots you going up there. Good. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, but you have to hit me because I've got a nat one. Oh, you got a nat one? Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. This is the third one this session. All right. Uh, all righty. I'll give. He's not, he's he's not there. He's concentrating on a spell. So I'll have Safoon do something. I'll say, Ashley. You're right there, Ashley. He can, he can reach you, so he'll use his staff to bop hit me? you. Yeah, to bop you from down there because he's right there, right beside the podium. So he'll bop you. Mm -hmm. That is eighteen to hit. Mm, that will hit. All righty. You take eight points of blood, no, nine points of bludgeoning damage. As so five. Cro yeah, it crops you on the side. Is, uh, is it non-magical damage, Providence? When you're raging? It's, blood, it's uh, yeah. Not ma it's magical, so. How can it be magical and bludgeoning? Well, it's magical, it's a magical staff. Okay. That sense. Does that make sense? Sure. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that one up that you tried to hit is up, but it's going to just continue uh, trying to um, finish the ritual. Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, this one's up. I have five. Oh, they're all blind. <laughs> yeah, they are. I get an attack of opportunity, yeah? Yeah, because you're moving out of your range. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. For twelve damage. Nice. He's still up, but he stumbles back. Ugh. Actually, if you're going to do that, as he starts to move, you hit him, and he's like, oh, you're right there. He's going to just swing wildly at you. He's probably going to miss you, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming a sits misses. Very much so, yes. And he's going to continue to go back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, that was all of them. Uh, other one's going to stay right there. He's just blind as fuck. Arnus, you're up and glitch your own deck. I am going to run into the room. See. Get a con save. Yes, sir. All right. Bright light. Bright light. Bright light. You're technically already in the room. You should already roll. I'm eight. You're blind as fuck. Well, uh, well, that goes my my plan. I can't see. You. <laughs> All right. Well, best thing I can do is. Probably. Oh, that messes up so much. Uh... I'm going to move to my right a bit. 
maybe about five, ten feet blindly. You, you feel the presence of one, like, uh, can see, can see behind you. Okay, so as soon as I feel one, I am going to cast... Uh, Thunder Wave. Okay. In that direction? What's the save? It's, a debt save? It's a, de a con save of 16, otherwise they take 2d8 uh, thunder damage. Which I'll roll that now. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. He got an 8, so he's already going to fail. Fail, so they take 11 damage, and then they are pushed. It doesn't matter. He only had... Uh, yeah. He only had f fucking like five hit points, so... Is that your turn? Right. That's my turn. All right, glitch her up, and then Assam's on deck, Providence. Mm hmm I go into the room. I had rolled a 16 on my con, or my save. You're good. The bright light. Yeah. 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 It's blurry as fuck, but you're able to shield it enough to see. Yeah. My magic armor has self-adjusting visor, like a welder's mask. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll head down between uh, Kalis and Nico towards those three. Uh, whatever movement I have left, I guess. It's about right there. That's about how much movement you got. Perfect. Okay, and I'm going to cast... Thunder wave. <laughs> that such a good idea. <laughs> What's the, it's a uh, cube, fifteen right? foot cube. So oh, catches the whatever many of those three I can get. Fifteen foot cube. Uh, you only get one of them. Okay. Um. I'm gonna say they didn't see it coming, so. 11. It's a debt save, um, right? Con save. Oh, it's con. Okay, yeah, 11. Mine, mine 16. So, 7 thunder damage. 7 thunder damage? Oh, yeah, that one That one got hit already. So, how is your thunder wave kill him? I'll say you his blow it back and his back hits against the wall and the head splatters yeah. across the wall. That's what I was going to say, too, yeah. <laughs> we are a we are a violent group of good guys. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, you gotta be not, violent, Kalis. Sometimes you right. gotta be violent. All right, glitch. Is that your turn? Yep, that's it. A psalm. Uh, he's gonna run into the room and he is gonna make a con save because you know can't be blind. Uh, it is going to be a four. Plus whatever his con is, I'm gonna say that's that fails. His con is probably not good. Plus two. Um, con yeah, so he has a six. Yeah, yeah, so he waltz in. And he's blind as fuck as well. Okay, would we say that he saw the people in the room before he was blinded? He technically should have had to roll the blind because he was still within the range initially, so he wouldn't know their exact location now. He probably wouldn't know where they were, but not exact location now. All right. Um, then he's going to make his best guess. He's going to put it off to the left, kind of mid-room. He's going to cast Fairy Fire. Just see if he can get as many people as he can. So kind of like a little bit around where Kalis is, because he knows that Kalis is blind, so it doesn't really matter. Um, no, a little further north, or um, left. I, he, I, that's what he's trying for. It's going to hit nobody. Yeah, it hits nobody. Can can we roll some sort of like just a random chance to see if it hits any of them? All right, uh, roll me. Roll me d d20. We'll pretend like it's a... Actually, no. I mean, 12. Roll me a d12. And we'll talk about north is mid, or 12. An 11. 11. So he puts it this location okay and he will get those two 
And it's a what save? Uh, dex 16. That is, uh, that one fails. And then Zafoon. Zafoon gets a 16, so he meets it, beats it. Okay, at least he got somebody. He's concentrating on that now. Would have been good if he uh, knew what he was aiming at. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorry. Is that uh, Psalm's turn? That's that's a Psalm's turn, yeah. Uh, Toronto's going to come in. Has to make a con save. Are you rolling it, Nico? Uh, sure, yep. Yeah. Sure. On save is a nat 20. Go Ooh. figure. She goes there and her flames lighten up and just shielding out the brightness. You know why? It's because I'm using the Fane D20, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's loyal to that body right now. Yeah, I guess. So she she's able to see. Um, yeah, and she'll... Uh, She'll see the the person right in front of Providence, and she's just going to throw a firebolt at that person. Okay. So, uh, for 21 to hit. Who? So uh, wh whoever's right in front of Providence. As you do that... Whatever four cylinders there, it splatters against it and vanishes. Okay, cool. Well, at least those of us who are not blind can see that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she'll stay put after that. So just kind of picture around this whole block, you can't enter it or you can't send anything through it for player-wise. Kind of like Leoman's hut. Kind of, yeah, actually. Just whatever the... The ritual they're doing is kind of doing it already. Okay. That is a 20 foot. This one over here. Uh, I will take a reaction to attack it. Okay. That's a five plus seven, so twelve. Twelve misses. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me roll a D four. Hold, Hold on. How long does that last? Ten minutes. Three. Is that uh, fifteen. No. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, fifteen still misses. As that shimmer over the body kind of shields off. And he looks at you guys and he's just like, If you're not here to join the cult, and you didn't worship my lovely cat, Fluffy, you must die. He launch, launches right over to you. I need everybody to give me con saves. Everyone in that radius? So yep. not me? So... Arnis, uh, Assam, Kalis, Glitch, and Nico. I'm going to use one of my advantages. Same. You said con save? 17. Yes, yeah, a con save. Uh, Isam is also going to use an advantage. The DC is 16. I got a 16. Plus a D4, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He some failed. I got a, a got clean a 20. 20. I got a dirty 20. Can somebody remove an advantage from Isam as well, please? Yes. And from Nico? Yes, please. Thank you. If you're already on there. Okay. And so, Nico, you're down to zero. Yep. I know. Okay. I'm down to thank, one. Thank so. you, though. Yeah. Just trying to keep everybody updated. Yep. But at least Arwenus still has determination. And glitch. 
Uh, everybody takes 21 points of poison damage if you failed. Half Aren't we resistant saved. to it too? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're resistant to poison. It's fine. So we half the half if we pass. So, so it was 22? Two. It was 22. Yeah, 22 poison so then damage. Six. Uh, half, 11, half, six. Yeah. As he unleashes a cloud kill on you. Ugh. Concentrating on that. Huh? <clears throat> and good thing we all drank the Kool Aid. <laughs> uh, and then you'll see him as his bonus action. Leaves like a shadow emblem right beside you, Providence. Okay. That could only be good. say uh, uh, Providence as he lands there it's like pitch black all around you and him that is his turn top of the round Kalis um I don't know where oh, that cloud uh, killed it, oh does it drop your blindness drops yeah yeah, right. everybody has their sight back. All right. Um, I don't know where that cloud kill came from, but I do know that I'm up against a force field, so I'm gonna feel my way around the force field, so down and around until I run into somebody. Uh, uh, you start your turn in there, so you need to make another con save. Nineteen. No, that's fourteen. And then, uh, all right. So uh, twenty-two more points of uh, poison damage reduced to eleven because you have resistance, and you got a reduced to. I got a nineteen, so I I took yeah. six damage. Six damage, yeah. You're still in it. Uh, well, I'm feeling my way around the force field until yeah. I run into somebody. You just want to go around? How, how, how much? Uh... I have 30 feet. Okay. 30 gets you about right there. And you can... Oh, yeah, you have he's, blind sight. So you can he's, see the he's getting a bop on the head. Papa Rudy. 24 to hit. Boom. And we'll use another first level. Oops. Yeah, not great. Uh, nine. nine plus six. No, uh, plus six. So 15. Oh. He, you crack into him. You hear him like almost buckle to his knees. He is barely standing after that blow. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to bop him again. Nineteen. Don't even roll damage. He has one hit point. How you want to do it? <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just bringing him down. If he went down to his knees, I'm just cracking right down on top of his back again. Nice. As you... And then, hey, Drew, yeah. where are you? Oh, oh, we stairs. have, we have a song in here. Hold on. Let me, let me get my camera out. Uh, let, uh, let a know how many spell slots he has left. Yeah, I'm talking to him. I'm going to talk to him right now. All right. Let me... Sweet, sweet. 
We used all your second level spell slots to cast uh spiritual emotions. Yeah, spiritual weapon Calm twice. Emotions. <laughs> Calm emotions is the way to go. Alrighty, welcome in. We're in the middle of the fight there, bud. Alright, what'd you do, Kalis? You killed him and then what? I uh, I yelled out for Prue. Okay. At uh, the top you... of the stairs, but step back for a second. All right. Uh, Nico. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, no longer blind, so you can see. Yeah. Oh, but it's a starting round, so you've got to take some more damage. A con save? Yeah, con save. Okay, so... That is a 13, so I think I take uh, the full half. Yeah, um, so I know. Uh, 16. 24 points of poison. Okay, down to 12? Yep. All right, and um, I'm going to go to the uh, that south corner. Okay. Um, yep. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use my Zephyr Strike to give me advantage, but I'm going to take out my Javelin and just say Blitz, and I'm going to throw it along the wall to the farther guy, but both of them need to make a dexterity save. A natural one and an eight. Okay, uh, DC was 13, so they both are going to take 4d6 of lightning damage, and then the other guy is also going to take um, the actual damage from the javelin. So lightning is 2, 3, 6... Uh, so 12 points of lightning damage, and then, um, ooh, and then, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, 10 points of piercing damage on the farther one. So what's the total? Uh, so, so they, the first one, the closer one takes 12 points of lightning, the farther one takes 22 points of a combination of lightning and, uh, how do you oh, want wait, to no, try... I'm sorry, there's, there's an extra D8 on that. How do you um, want to kill one. both of them? Ooh, with lightning. Um, so yeah, I grab my javelin and I just whisper blitz to it and it turns into lightning and I just throw it down the line and um, and, it, and it it goes right through them and scorches them. Nice. Right through the belly button. Nice. All right, is that your turn? Um, that is, I'm going to then move Move to the opposite corner. I have How a much? total of 60 feet of movement this round. So, 5, 10, 15. Use 15 to get to the corner. Okay, so 45 feet over. 45 about right here. About there? That's fine. That um, turn? That is my turn. Providence! Uh, yeah, she is going to... Um kind of listen to uh, herself on the inside. She's going to um, remember what Assam taught her about meditation and she's going to release her her radiant consumption. So um, 10 feet around me becomes bright light again. Um, and they immediately, oh, sorry. Yeah, so there's that. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and go reckless and attack as a foon. Um, so if there's something I can't see, I think it's now disadvantage, but advantage, so regular hit. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Uh, where did my sheet go again? There it is. Okay, come on, let's not hit. I'm oh, sorry, let's, let's not get an at one again. That would be nice. Oh, a two. <laughs> at least it's not a... At least that's not, uh, it, again, whatever you're hitting is something around him that's kind of like a little small aura is protecting him from these small hits you're hitting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, what's the sure. uh, radiant consumption damage? Actually, uh, three, but let me just see if I can get anything extra with my, um, oh, so I actually got a, um, a a 13, but I think that still misses. That still misses. And it's, yeah, three radiant damage on, on anybody within 10 feet of me. Oh, so that one takes three as well. All right. Uh, 
concentration check. It's only three. I roll. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me see. It's con modifier. The the as uh the ritual he's casting he knocks him out of it his eyes go because I roll a fucking five for a con save. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, oh no for you, <laughs> woohoo for us. I don't know if it's good for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, is that your turn? Uh, that's all I can do, yeah. He turns around to you. Bring it. My job is to take hits so somebody else doesn't take them. So, bring it. Actually, he's not going to turn around to you. He looks at all of you guys. gonna be the whole, pretty much he's gonna angle it at the door everybody is still there uh, I need another con saves so I need con saves from glitch Assam uh Verana and uh Arnis Verana got a 16 Isam got a 20. Which got a 23. Oh, and it's got a 7. Your DC was 15. Uh, I, I'm hurt. Oh, you're fine. Eight, 10, oh, if it's 20. fire. It's not. Okay. <laughs> it's level. Nineteen thirty nine points of damage, it's necrotic damage. So you take thirty nine points of necrotic damage as this circle of blue around under you <laughs> erupts. If uh, if I've got resistance to necrotic, yeah, you, you take half. Damage. So yeah, did but you I save? also pass this. I also saved. So, Does that mean I? Yeah, take it's double half. It's, it's double half. So, so thirty-nine points of necrotic oh, damage. damage, and then it's twenty. Nine, then 19. ten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thirty-nine is. It will be forty. Twenty. Yeah, it'll be so twenty. 20. So down to ten. It'll be ten. Yeah. If you failed, it's full. Anybody down? Okay. Not yet. So close. Yeah, it's the Vagabond blessed us. We're super lucky. We'll be fine. Is that why I'm getting ones and twos? Yeah. You're lucky. And then... Do you have anything else you can do? No. Alrighty. Uh... These guys can finally get to do something, guys. Uh, Coming to the cloud kill. Oh. right on the edge so he doesn't have to walk right into it it's making a you know a simple simple attack on uh Arnis and let's see if he hits uh that's an eight i'm assuming misses oh yeah that misses 
All right, that was his turn. Uh, there's only one left, I think. Uh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, he is. He's the fairy fire one. Uh oh. See if he can hit. Let's roll this dice. Uh, does an 18 hit you? Yes. Uh, for seven slashing damage as he comes out and pulls out the scimitar and slices right down on you. You see Arwenus go, ugh, and down. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Arwenus is you're up, and you're in the cloud kill, so you take automatically take a failure to death. We'll roll your death save. Okay. Uh, glitch. Uh, give me another con save because you're still in the the cloud. I thought you said he failed the cloud. Huh? Twelve. Didn't he Not get a five on his on his on his con save? No, Zafoon did for keeping the ritual going. Not so the that force field. Oh, that's not uh. Savoon. Then who? It's his, it's this his cat. This is Safoon, one with the, the staff. The oh. The right here was just maintaining and casting the ritual. Gotcha. Safoon was not casting the ritual. So the ritual is done. Yeah, the ritual's s is halted. Um. Oh wait. Uh, Arwen, is did you did you did you attack anybody yet? Yes. Okay. Oh, I rolled the wrong ones. That's not it. I need to get Good try, though. That's I appreciate four. that. 16 and... 21 points of poison damage uh, glitch. And then, since you have that, so that's halved. Did you succeed? And you're safe? Uh, he just collapses <laughs> too much poison in the air for him <laughs> all right it's Sam. uh you're in the cloud so you have to make a con save yep also right, get out of the cloud <laughs> yeah thanks for putting me there <laughs> yeah, it wasn't there before. Glitch, did you take 11 points because you're resistant to poison? That uh, is a no, 16. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I had 7 hit points. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, 16 Does points it... of poison damage, Isam. Okay. So Actually, no, that's not, that's not, that's not, I'm, I'm sorry. It's 26 poison damage. Okay, um, and a 16... Resistant. But you're resistant. A 16 doesn't, a 16 doesn't save, correct? A 16 <laughs> is a save. Yeah. Okay, so, you so it's... Tw okay, so... Half of... Wait, It'll okay. be 7 total, half, completely. Oh it's 7 total, completely. <laughs> seven? Because you're resistant, okay, awesome. and then you succeeded, I have, so I have 7. I have 7 hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what was the song concentrating on? Fairy fire. Fairy fire. Yeah, fairy uh, fire. Uh, yeah, yeah do you want to roll a con save on that? Yeah, we haven't been rolling any I should do two of those, right? Yeah, you should do two of those. Okay, I get advantage on those. So I did I, one for the first hit, by the way. First oh, one okay. passed. The second one passed. Okay. Advantage really helps, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to um, move the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a question about if I bring both of them up with aid and I use my last third level. So if I use my last third level spell slot, I can't cast Revivify in case somebody dies. But if I bring them back up with aid, will they have movement to get out of the cloud? Or No, it's at uh, the start. It, it, it attacks at the start of their turn. Uh, um, yeah, well, and if I want to physically... What's up? It, 
Did you say with with the spell aid? Because aid doesn't give hit points, right? It just yeah. yes, it does. Yeah. Your max. It gives hit points. Yeah, it gives hit points. It boosts your max and it gives you hit points. Okay. So you can bring bad people up with aid. Uh, with my channel divinity, it won't bring you up because those are temporary hit points. Um, but uh, da, 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 da. so they would go probably go right back down with ten with ten hit points, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I brought them up. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Might be and the guy that's constantly drag oh, one out. Might be to drag one out. Uh, if I drag one out, does that take my action, or is that like an object interaction? I'll I'll treat like an object interaction, but it, oh, you won't have to roll anything because you're unconscious, and it'll just take half your movement as moving. Okay. Do I have enough movement to drag out our one? Or glitch. What's your movement? 30? I don't know. Which... You won't be able to reach yeah, glitch and move him out. So I won't. Which is down towards the bottom. Yeah, he's down okay. towards the bottom. It takes twenty to get there, and then you have to grab him and try to move him out. But you're still uh, okay. Inside. So I'll I'll take uh I'll take Arwenus, uh physically move her out, and then I will use. Uh, the only problem is my... you get an opportunity to attack from one of them doing that. Uh, is there a way to move where I'm just like, in range and I don't, yeah, don't take opportunity attack? I'd say so you probably move it that way. Would they, okay. Would they hit somebody um, down and out? That's the question. It's forced movement, isn't it? It's not using that's her true. own movement? That's, that's true, that is true. Nice call. Right. So I gotta get at least one, one, <laughs> one right call. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to uh, use my bonus action to cast a uh, healing word on at what glitch level? At, at first level. And then right. uh, I'm gonna use my action that at least like Get him reset on his death as, saves. As you as you start casting healing word. I don't have any death saves done. Okay. As you cast um, healing as start... word. Hold on, it's on. As you try to cast healing word, as your dark energy comes out, something sucks it away and you look up and there's like a little black cloud of mist in there. And Safoon looks at you. No no no. As he counterspells your healing word. Well shit. <laughs> um then my next move for my action i'm going to use healing hands uh the asimar ability on arwenus not a spell yeah yeah and that's 3d4 arwenus you get eight points of hit points from healing hands yeah it's three oh, before because they, they reworked it right I, I thought sorcerers it gets set for your look you're not no a it's no, i'm thinking about it's an as it, yeah yeah it's an it's, it's an asimar thing yeah so you guys will see They're like his it. eyes his eyes glow and his hands glow kind of the same way that uh that uh that providences does in a way that's very un uncharacteristic for isam with this whole dark vibe and uh um, i want us oh if it works does it does oh it, it works work? it works arnis just give me yeah. a con save for getting back up you don't take 15. a little exhaustion but you're Woo. you come back up and <laughs> you can actually breathe again because the cloud kills in there oh oh thank you right. is that your turn Assam? Uh, that is my movement, my action, and my bonus action. That is everything I can do. All right. Verona's up. Uh, she needs to make a con save. Uh, what? How many health does Verona have right now? How many did she take last time? She took, uh, the 11, so she's down to 13. All right. Cool. Um, she rolled a 14. So she's probably down at this. Oh yeah, that fails. Yeah. That's four. Eight. 
That's 14, and then that's 22 points of uh, poison damage. Okay, so she. That's all. She failed, but she has resistance because she drank the thing. So she took 11. So she's still up with two hit points. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I forgot that she had taken it. So she actually has five more than that. So she has seven. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, she was one of the first ones to drink it. I I don't remember that far back. It's been like two months. <laughs> you know how much has happened? In the no, last she was the last months? one to drink it. Oh, whatever. Ah, oh, go ahead. What's Verona doing? Hopefully, probably getting the hell out of this thing. Nico, what's Verona doing? Uh, oh, sorry. Verona's yeah. Verona's <laughs> gonna move. Um, she's gonna move north to a spot where she can use burning hands on. Those are two enemies up there. Yeah. 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 She's gonna move to a spot where she can use burning hands on both of them. Yeah, she get both of them that way. And that's a debt save, right? I'm assuming. That, that is, I'm just looking it up again For right sure now. Is. That is a dex save, yeah. Um, her DC is 16. Does Freya Fires affect saves? No. Okay. Uh, the first one got uh, 18, and then the next one failed. Okay, so that is three. Awesome, a three and two ones. So that is five points of damage or three points for the one that saved. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I rolled really poorly. Um, yeah, I, oh, there's still a lot. That one in front I thought was going to die, but didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she would do better than that, but you know, yeah, whatever. You know. At least you triggered a concentration save on the cloud kill, I think. Or no. is that the other guy? That's the guy behind Zafoon. No, Zafoon well, is Zafoon is the one doing it. He Zafoon's mm -hmm. behind the other guy. Oh, yeah. okay, I get it. I'm very slow, so you guys. Yeah. Well, you also just arrived, so. Yeah. Is that your turn? Um. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. She's going to hang out there and. All right. Duh. Okay. Can the fall. Well, all right. What do you want to do, Siphon? What do you want to do? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. No, let's not do that. Hmm. Hmm. Good sign. So <laughs> many things he can Fuck do. Fuck it. <laughs> He's gonna look over. Hit me. Hit me. <sighs> that cloud kill did so well. Let's do it again. Drops it and recast it over here. On his own. I mean, guys. I cast. So I'm going to need con saves from everybody, including his guy. Con. I got a five. <laughs> I got an eight. I got a 20. Uh, if it makes you feeling better, his buddy failed. All right. No, the resistance to poison makes me feel better, actually. <laughs> the fact that we're not losing strength points every time we get hit also makes me feel yep. better. Yep. <laughs> that is nice. Uh, I keep rolling 22, so 22 poison damage. So 11. So, 11. so I don't think you're resisting the poison, are you? No, you're not. So you take the full amount. And then, uh, it, so it's 22 if you failed. We are automatically, so that's 11. So let's just say 11. And then if you've saved, that's a half of that. Which is six. Yeah, yeah so that is Providence, Kalis, 
and you yep. go. Yep, I already took 11. Six damage. Alright. Um, I drop concentration this time. Anybody else concentrating on anything they need to roll for? Nope. Okay. I just, now I'll start taking opportunity attacks if I'm close enough to people. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, uh, top of the round, Kalis. Give me another con save. Put me down. Five. Remember, well, you're resistant. Yeah. 14, 15. I don't know how I keep rolling 22s. That's crazy. Uh, 22 halved is 11. I am. Okay. Barely standing up. Uh. I don't know where anybody is or what's going on. Uh, uh, you have 10 feet of blind sight, right? So you can yeah. see Providence and you can see the one that's standing on the edge. Um, Can I... Is that just like empty space in front of me? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll waste a reaction to tell you what to do. Okay, yeah. As, um... Uh... Kalis, run back to the door, heal glitch. Then I will run back towards sure. the door. Well, it's going to decide whether or not you don't feel the presence of that um, force field anymore. Well, I, I know the door is straight back. You get about right here and you see glitch down on the ground. Okay, well, I'm going to make sure I'm out of the cloud kill. That gets you out of the cloud kill, actually. Okay, then I will uh, drop 10 points of my uh, lay on hands into glitch. Glitch, give me a con save for coming back. You made it. 13. 13, you just succeed. You're not, uh, you're not, don't take a little exhaustion. And then I as a... Kalos oh. on the boot. <laughs> uh, as a bonus action, is Providence within 60 feet of me? 60 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on her. Ooh. Thank you. As you try to do it, it's counterspelled. Motherfucker. Well, at least he wasted his counterspell on a shield of faith. <laughs> That's two level threes gone from, from uh, using uh... <laughs> first level spells. Considering he has two level fives. Yeah, fair. He has at least yeah. two more level threes left, but he doesn't have any reactions. Uh yeah yep. yeah at least he used his reactions so well, anyone who's he, got some spells you might have some legendary reactions guys let's be serious <laughs> yeah. okay that's true <laughs> okay. well that's my go okay, okay. nico i am standing here at three hit points three. <laughs> oh my god i rolled a two so i got three <laughs> This is not as not as strong. It's still twenty. Twenty okay. uh, poison damage reduced okay. to ten. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I am going to run east out of the cloud to where I can see clearly again, because I believe cloud kill is highly obscured or something. Heavily yeah. obscured. Yeah. Um. And. Uh, I will. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll shoot an arrow. How much at... movement do you have? 30 feet? 30 feet now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that got you. That's your maximum 30 feet. Yeah. Okay. 
Yep, and I will. I'm gonna shoot an arrow at the fairy fire guy. Hey. Oh, nice. You have advantage so, on that because of fairy fire. Yep. So that is a clean twenty to hit. Yeah, that hits. And a. Where's my D8? Yes, that's four. Where's, there's the eight. Um, he has two hit points, so. I'm assuming you can already deal naturally two hit points. So how you want to do it? I'm with eight points of damage. I'm going to just. Uh, is he facing the corner? No, he was facing you. Okay. Well, either way, I'm gonna shoot him through the head, and he's gonna go just deep enough to startle Verana. <gasps> she gives you a thumbs up. I'll nod. And uh, for my bonus action, seeing a whole bunch of my allies are like really hurting, and I, I would probably notice that Kalis is really bloody, so I'm going to drop a healing word on him. As you do that, the other one looks at you and says, No. Your healing word is. He's countering it? Yep. Okay, that's fine. So many counter spells. <laughs> yeah, they both have counter spells. Yep. That's what I was saying. When you stopped him from doing the ritual, I'm not sure if that was good or bad. <laughs> you got him back. You got him into the fight. So. Yep. Uh, that's me. All right. Uh, Providence, you're up. I need a con save from you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, con save. I'm not terrible at these. Twelve. That's an eighteen. It's 20 poison damage, so you say... So, five. Five. You take five points of poison, or poison damage. Okay. Uh, Providence is going to bamf, and she is going to do uh, 2d10 damage uh, to those two guys. Where are you bamfing uh, towards? Uh, directly north of what's-his-face. You get to add three to that because of your... Uh, thing oh, yeah, 2d10 plus three. For uh, one of them, but not both. Oh, is I it? Think. Yeah. Nine plus five is fourteen. Oh no no no! I'm I'm directly in front of him. I am just on the stairs in front of him. Oh, I said all the way north. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, just north of him. Yeah, I'm I'm still gonna hit him. I mean, I was tempted to gr grapple and drag him back in, but whatever. Oh, what is it? Is it debt saves? Uh, yeah. Uh. So who is this? Uh, that says, uh, the one, not Safoon, got a 13. Fails. The, and Safoon got, uh, 18. Uh, that succeeds. Okay. So he, well, so the fail gets 14, uh, Zafoon gets 7. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the fail gets 17. Zafoon uh -huh. gets 10. Because of the... Yeah. Oh, no. Only one of them. So Zafoon gets 10. 14 and 10. Sorry. 14 and 10? Yeah. Yes. 14 for, for the bad guy. Uh, 10 for Zafoon. She gets to add 3 to one of them because of uh, her consumption, radiant consumption thing. Only one of them? Yeah. I thought it was everybody. Okay. Um, well, she gets three, three on top of that to everybody. On top of that, one of her attacks got gets it, got to it, got add it, got three got radiant it. damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I will reckless attack um, Zafoon. Uh, do I get advantage or not? You're reckless attacking, so yeah, that gives you advantage. I just thought there was something that was preventing me from getting advantage already. Oh, well, the oh the smoke. Are you talking about the darkness? Yeah. That that dropped on his turn, so... Okay, 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 good, 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 good. Just wanted to check. Uh, so this is with advantage. Mm-hmm. Natural 20! Yes! Except for one of the ones. Wow. All right, all right. There's nothing you can uh, do about that. That's a guaranteed hit. Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, God, come on. Seriously? 14 damage? Plus rage damage? Plus rage, okay. Uh, yeah, plus rage. 
Um, which is another three. Damn, that's a nice hit, though. Yes. 17. He's got to make concentration checks, too. Yeah, so he has to make two concentration checks, and then oh, at yeah. the end of my turn, there is another three damage from radiant consumption, so he has to make three uh, three concentration checks, please. You, you probably wanted him, because the only person left in the cloud kill was his buddy, but now you just made him drop it, so his buddy's not going to get any damage. <laughs> well, we can also now run in. Yeah, we can also see. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that was right. a total of, of 10 plus... I took it all already. 17 plus 3. Yeah, I took it all. Oh, okay. That's a good turn. Uh, yeah. That's it. He, he is definitely bloody after that hit. All right, is that your turn? Yep. All right, the other one's up. So that one... Hmm... What is this? Ooh. All right, let's do that. I'm going to need a... You just did that. Bring the it. One, the one over there looks at you. And these memories of what you've been cursed with start shining through your mind. Shh, the person who's been haunting your dreams just inadvertently started happening because of this. And I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. You know what? I'm going to waste another advantage on this because I know what my wisdom savings are like. Shit. <laughs> All right. I got you. You've got get plenty. 13. Uh, you fail. And uh, Phantasmal Killer, you're a frightened. There's no longer chanting second. Like... That off. Just gonna roll this real quick. Oh, that was cut. Gotta re-roll that one. Alrighty. Ten. Eighteen points of psychic damage. And he's not Ooh. training on that. Providence is not looking good right now. <laughs> She's none, been of chipped away look, at. none of us are looking good. She's been chipped away at for a little bit. And you're now frightened. He is concentrating on that. Providence has all kinds of passive magic to make sure she always looks good. This is true. <laughs> Okay. It's like that. It's like the fo the photos of like the the hot girl running marathons. She still looks hot, but she's like in the middle of a marathon. That's what she is. Like you should you can tell she's exhausted. Mm -hmm. Or like, have you seen uh, How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. How Barney can never take an awful photo. Yeah. 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 All right. Like that. that is his turn. Do you have any? Do you have? Nope. So he is going to, you have, where's your speed? Oh, that's all. It gets to the corner. All right. Um, these guys are up, but I think they were all, no, there's one left. There's one left. He's gonna run over, seeing Arnus is back up, but still on the ground. He's gonna make a swing at Arnus. And Arnus is not there. There she uh, is. I'm here, I'm right here. I'm I can hear, uh, I just can't talk. 18. Does 18 hit you, I'm assuming? Yes, it does. Uh you take seven points of slashing damage. I'm still up! Barely yeah, barely. You're barely up, and you're up. What do you want to do? So first thing she's going to do is stand up. And she is going to immediately, very pissed off, is going to swing back with her scimitar. You got it. Happy deal. Sneal seems like it's 11. 11 misses. 
Alright, uh... Will? I'm gonna bonus action healing word at first level on myself. Uh, a healing word on yourself? Can, can I do that? Yeah. I believe so. I mean, technically, you're Fair allowed future. to. I think Fair all future. the counter spells that have been used up, right? They've had like. Nope. No, he just had his turn. Oh, the shit. guy in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting counter spelled. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, fine. <laughs> because. I think there's been my the counter spell against me. Then there's a counter spell against so that's three, right? Yeah, but there's two people doing it. Yeah, but there's two people doing it. But there's been three counter spells. Because round. because it's been over more than it's one a new round. round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been over more than a round. They keep getting their rounds. All right, that's all I could do. Well, okay. So there's been three counter spells since my last turn. Great. Right? You're up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they too, but the that one that just uh, did the uh, on Providence got his turn back, so that was his. Th so right now, there's no available counter spells, if that makes sense. But glitch, you're we up. Got it, got it. Glitch uh, is gonna crawl to the wall closest to him. Just crawl. Yep. What's crawling? What's the crawling speed? How the hell's that work? Half speed. It's half, half speed. speed. Uh, all right. Yeah. So it does. He's just All gonna right. lean against the wall. All right. Are you, you standing up? Nope. He's just gonna lean against the wall, oh, point his hand point. at the last guy who attacked Arvinus, and cast second level magic missile at him. Uh, the one that counterspelled her. Uh... Oh no! You talking about this guy? Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, roll your gets... D force. So it gets four darts in the bet. I'll just roll them all that way. Ten damage. Oh, you couldn't do one more point of damage? Jeez. <sighs> do you have a determination? No, you do not. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, do, don't you on the? He does on on our glitch chart. has determination. Yeah. Yeah, glitch does. You know, if you use it, he'll die. Yeah, if you use it, he'll yes. die. I don't have I'll him having one on the string, yeah. so that's what's throwing me off. Got it. Arvinus is the only Definitely one left with it. determination. Mm -hmm. yep. well, All right. Well, you kill him with those. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Assam. Great. I'm assuming so you. Uh, I'm assuming no... you want to drop concentration on fairy fire since that guy's dead. Yeah, and there's no, there's no, um, there's no uh, reactions left for uh, this the like counter spell right now, right? As far as we know. As far as you know. So I was wrong. Uh, I still I I misunderstood what uh, what Isolde told me, and I do have a couple of second level spells left. <laughs> But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to channel divinity and this kind of cooling dim light spreads 30 feet away from me. Mm -hmm. And uh, da, 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 da. it's been a minute since I've used it. Uh, you get whenever you earn, whenever anyone ends their turn in the sphere, uh, you can get 1d6 plus 5 temporary hit points, or you can no longer be charmed or frightened. Um, oh. Where are you? Or is it is it and or? You are. I don't know. It what, says... What are you doing? You can get one of these, so it's either or. Uh, so Channel Divinity, Twilight oh, Sanctuary, uh, the 30-foot radius... Of dim lights around around uh, around me, and then uh, for my bonus action, I am going to cast damage so, or healing. So is Providence no What's longer that? frightened? Is that what you did, or is that uh, not until the end of her turn? Then 
I have to decide whether she wants a temporary hit points or she wants to not be frightened. But it'll be at the end of her turn. So at the end of everyone's turn, you you guys all get 1d6 plus 5 hit points and temporary if you're within 30 feet of me. Um, And then uh, for my bonus action... Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna aid or spiritual weapon, guys. I think I'm gonna spiritual weapon. Or you know what? No, no. Scratch that. I am going to, who needs, who needs healing badly? Everyone. (laughs) A bunch of y'all. Everyone. Um... (laughs) Uh, give me I'm gonna call. go ahead. I would say you saw Arnest just take another slash as she was. You're trying to pull her away, so she's looking really the worst out of everybody. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, but Providence is the one that's gonna keep us all alive if she can defeat Zafun. So, true. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bonus action, uh, healing word, Providence. Or you know what? Fuck that. Yes. No. Yeah. I am. Yes. No. 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 Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna healing word providence. You're gonna get the minimum possible of six. Of six points. And that will be. I'm back up to fifty percent now, though. Yeah. I probably I couldn't do aid because it's a turn and I had to choose between the channel divinity and aid and I thought the channel divinity would be more helpful. Assuming I can live given that I have seven hit points left. But I get um, seven temporary hit points too. All right. Is that your turn? That is my turn. So everybody at the end of your turn, you guys just remember, I don't know if you want me to roll it, you guys can roll it. Just remember to, if you're within 30 feet, roll a d6, and uh, it's that plus five temporary hit points that you'll get. All right. Uh, Verona's up. What is Zafoon wearing? What do you mean, what is he wearing? I mean, is he wearing armor? Uh, he does not have armor on. It's like he doesn't have any visible metal on him. To be very specific. No. Okay. Cool. Then she is going to. Uh, ba ba ba. She'll cast. She'll cast firebolt on the one in the far corner from her. Okay. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. <laughs> Do you have it? Oh, 17. Yep. She's going to shield. Okay. No, actually, she no, she, has, she doesn't she have has a reaction. A, no, she does not have a reaction. Yeah, you're right. That hits. So that is. Oof. It'd be nice if she stopped rolling ones in her damage, but that's a six for dam- for fire damage. Yeah, that hits, and I have to roll a con save. She barely maintains. Okay. Um, and uh, she's going to move 30 feet along the north wall. 30. Yep. Uh, and you said it's a, how many? How many? It's a d10. For 10 hit points? D6. D6. Plus 5. Plus 5, okay. And she gets the bare minimum of 6. Perfect. Thank you. And that'll be her turn. All right. E. What does this do? Alrighty. Alrighty. That's cool. I guess I'll do that. 
All right, first off, he's gonna use his bonus action to shadow step. Oh, hi. <laughs> There's a dangerous man near me. And Kill him. Just do it. Um. Yeah, why not? Uh, he is going to do a magic missile for his level one. Targeting Aranus. Uh, and the other two is going to be uh, to his home. Arnis, you take three damage. I'm down. And... Yeah. Uh... Some, uh, oh, actually, you know, you took f five damage. So in the psalm, you take three damage. I don't think you were concentrating Rip. on anything, though. Nah. Lucky for those temporary hit points. Um, and then is going to start running. That's his turn. Kalis, you're up. Where'd he go? <laughs> he was door. right next to I me. I use my reaction to shout and tell Kalis where where he's at. All right, then I'm running out the door. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> to get and away from you. Not anymore. I'm gonna whack him with a hammer. Okay. And if it hits, it will be a second level, because I haven't used any of those yet. Okay. Ooh, but that's only 11 plus... Three, 14 to hit. 14 misses. As a... Whatever he has on, aka Mage Armor, misses. Hmm. All right, at then... Least, at least you get two attacks, right? Yes, so I'm just going to hit him again. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Is he going to get away? <laughs> 14. Yeah, 14 misses. Uh, you seem to be having trouble with your hammer there. You seem to be really mean. You seem to, like, have trouble getting it up. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I'm like, I, I he's Your like, I'm, I'm obviously lifting my hammer. Uh, but I will. Yep, that's it. Okay, Nico. Uh, but I am going to. Uh, I'm going to move towards the door or towards like leaving a five foot gap if, if I can even make it that far I don't think I can quite make it there anyways yeah okay cool um and yeah and uh and I'm going to shoot after him okay uh well, actually sorry can I Use my bonus action first to cast Zephyr Strike and then attack him. Zephyr Do you mind Strike, if I? Concentration. I, it's concentration, and I'm going to give myself advantage on this attack. Okay. All right. So that is a. Probably 19, it's your own deck, by the way. Nineteen, 19. to hit. It yeah. would, but you cast Shield. Cast Shield. Okay. Um. Then that's what I've got. 
All right. Is that your turn? Yep. Providence. Okay. First you're, of all, your fear. Who am I frightened of? This one. Okay. I am so sorry, Kalis, but I'm going to have to hurt you. And I think you might go down from this. But I'm going to bam as close as I possibly can. And I believe uh, I believe I have enough with is running distance feet? to make. Yes. You no, can... the Banff is 20. The Banff is 30. Plus, I have 30 feet of movement. Don't forget, all of you that took your turns, give yourself 1d6 plus 5 temporary hit points. I'm not within so... 30 feet of you. Are you bamfing yeah, you are. them running, or are you running and then bamfing? Bamfing and then running, otherwise I'm going to hit people. Kalis, I'm pretty sure you're within 30 feet of me. So you can pretty much go anywhere on this track, except right here is like a mist okay. of cloud or darkness. So there. just north of there then. Yeah. So I get eight. Temp. Uh, and then is it wherever you land they take damage? No, it's yeah. from where I left. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out if uh, Arnus takes damage or not. Nope. Okay, that's. And then I'm going to run up to beside Kalis. Right there. Now, can I see the guy that's, that, that's causing me frightened? Uh, yes. If you are you sure? Look, if you turn back and look. <laughs> okay uh so then i'll, I'll we'll still reckless but I'll, it'll just be a straight roll mm -hmm. um where is oh, that's something good no sis team misses as okay like a, an extra layer of shielding around him he still takes three damage at the end of my turn he does Guaranteed. Yes. Guaranteed. At the end of your turn, I need you to make a save. Wiz wisdom? Yeah. I think it was yeah, it was wisdom, yep. Yeah. I actually and... think it might have been con or strength. No, it's wisdom. No, it was wisdom. Uh, I'm gonna use advantage. I'm gonna use another one of my advantages. Use them all. That's why they're there. That is a twenty, thirty. All right, you still take half, but you no longer frighten, and it drops. Uh, actually, if this is Phantasmal Killer, I do not take any damage. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and the spell lands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I thought it took, still took half. All right, cool. No, Phantasmal Killer is a big, big damage spell, but it has its drawbacks. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I thought it, I thought it read it. I had it. And you're no longer frightened. Yeah, it's yep. one of the few higher level saver sucks. Yeah. Don't forget uh, your temporary. And head then, points. because I'm no longer frightened, I will take the the one d six plus five. Uh, do you want to roll that for me? Sure. You got seven. Nice. I've been rolling twos and twos and twos and twos. All right. Is that your turn? That is my turn. All righty. He's going down, guys. He's going down. Maybe we can hit him with our opportunity attacks. Yeah, I'm going to take it too. He's going to look at Assam. Oh, shit. Hmm. Why did the rogue climb the mountain to sneak attack it? I need you to roll me a wisdom saving okay. throw. <laughs> I like to get to the other side because it's such a bad joke. Yeah, I okay, couldn't think I of one on the fly. <laughs> I have a plus eight though. to wisdom <laughs> saving throws, so this is good. I got an 18 plus eight for a 26. Six. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. <sighs> Such Did a he just vicious mockery me? <laughs> no, he tried to do hideous laughter. Uh, that would have actually been kind of fun to fail on such a terrible joke, too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be like, why the fuck are you that so funny? All right. Well, yeah, that, that, that's bullshit. All right. Uh, she had another six level spell slot do Circle of Death again. Ah! Oh, shit. Uh, he did the one concentrating on that because that's done. Ooh, actually. Can go back to the top. Yeah, it's where you get killed by the henchman. Hell no. Take him out! And Lightning he gets bolt. back to the top and starts yeah. chanting again. Oh. Alrighty, we get to Arnus' turn. I have to roll a death save. Okay. Uh, Glitch, you're up. Arnus is down again. It's so far away. I'd have to stand up. So I'm going to stand up. There's half right. my movement. I'm going to step up next to Nico. Let's leave and look at Zafoon. Okay. Let's take him out, take him out, take him out. And it's going to hit him behind him, but I'm going to cast Shatter. Uh, 16 con save. Yeah, yeah so it's shatter. only going to hit him. And because he's made of stone, he has disadvantage. Shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, it's a con save? Yeah. <laughs> he got a nat one. Does oh, he have a plus 15? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, wait, what's the con? What's the con? It's con? Yeah. 16. Yeah, yeah he failed. 18 thunder damage. Nice. Nice. And those doors are probably blown off open and the ones right behind you. You're behind them. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Use your imagination. Yep. Um and Big whatever. Turn. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. Assam is the phone still up? Yes, barely. I am going to. I am going to cast hold person on the You have to move to see him, right? Uh, I think right, so. Right I don't know. You cannot see him. You have to move okay, I move to where I can see him, and I will. What's your movement? Thirty. Uh, 30, but I want to stay within 30 feet of it. I want to, yeah. 20 feet gets you right here because now the force feels, well, actually, no, it's not back up yet. He's getting ready to get that back up. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to a whole person. I'll move, like, one more forward. What's the, what's the save? Uh, it is a wisdom save of... <laughs> Uh, the, the, the 16. That is not his. There we go. 16. Yeah. 16 exactly. Well, shit. Yeah, it's pretty high. Save. Then I'm going to bonus action. Uh, I'm going to bonus action spiritual weapon. Oh, wait, no, I can't, because I already cast spell. So I will not do that. Yeah. Uh, then that will be the end of my turn. All right, Verona is up. Um, the person doing the ritual, are they wearing any visible metal? No. Nope. Sorry? No. Nope. No? Nope? All right, she's going to throw a firebolt at him then. 
All right. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, shield. Okay. That's cool. She's just no. Actually, gonna... no, 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 no. It would hit because they went to chanting and they're no longer focused, and their eyes went black. You're right. So that does hit. Okay. Cool. So two and ten. Awesome. So twelve points of fire damage. Not. Why can't you stop and let us finish? We're trying to do a good thing. Four. The city of East Haven. That's what he says. Um, and uh, she'll stay put. All right. It's fun. We didn't really ask, did we? <laughs> Saphone is up. He is going to do... Arn's our hater. So everybody in 10 feet around me needs to make a strength saving throw. Uh, who is this? Me and you. You. You too. I'm going to use advantage. It's my last one. I believe I got advantage for um, just being a barbarian. That is correct. And he's going to cast it at. So wait, does it give it more? Yes, it does. It's going to cast it at... Uh, An unnatural 20. I got 15. So he's going to cast it at a fourth level. One, two, three. So it's going to be 5d6. Ah! Uh, that's 10. 18. 19, 19 necrotic damage, and you cannot take reactions until it's next turn. I'm done. Uh, do you, can I, I still take reactions if I saved? Oh, uh, on a successful save, creature takes half damage, but no other effect. So if you save, okay. you do not. So I take five damage. Five necrotic? Did you... Yeah. That's it? Uh, you said it was 19, so let's round up to 20. I saved, so I take half, but I'm also resistant to necrotic, oh. so five. Oh, okay. I know you're I went down. as well. Did you're down? You in- yep. Did you include your temp HP, Kalis? Yes. I was at three HP before the tip. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, bonus action. Shadow stuff. How far is his shadow step? I can't see anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming 30 feet. Can you see? How is he moving the rooms? Yeah. <laughs> you left the doors open. Who are all those people in there? They're like prisoners. It's part two of the fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. That's <laughs> part two of the fight. <laughs> All right, that's his turn. Kalis, you're up. I got to roll your death save. On the plus side, outside, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of town guards. Uh, you can just shadow step past them, though. Uh, Nico. My turn? Yep. Um, this time I am going to run over to Arwenus and cast Cure Wounds uh, at second level, because that's the only spell, spell slot level that I have right now. Uh, as you go to do that, counter spell for another guy. I thought he was focusing nope. on his... He got nope, knocked Verona. out of it, but not knocked him out okay. of it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's okay. I've got aid, so I can bring them both up when it cool. comes to my turn around. Since you took the counter spell, that's amazing. Yep. And uh, then I will. Yeah, I'll just hang. Uh, no, I'll go. No, I'll hang tight there. I'm done. All right. Uh, Providence. Uh, we're gonna run forward and go to the right.
And then we're going to bamf as far down diagonal as we can to get to him. See, when he bamfed there, he went darkness. I don't know which way you would have known he would have went. I would have seen him. Can you see through darkness? I do have dark vision. Magical right, darkness? Uh, then you're on bamf. How far? To the cage? Or... Uh, right up to him. Like down, like one more down to the right. Don't you have to see where you're bamfing, though? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you won't be able to see that spot. Okay. Um, she's going to throw a javelin. Actually. Actually, you can see this spot. I was thinking this spot. So yeah, you can see him. You can get there. Okay. Um, she will, uh, reckless and attack. That is an unnatural 20. Oh, plus I have a d4 if that's not enough. The How many times has he shield? Three times total? Three Despite times total. 23. Shields and 23. 23? Yeah, that'll definitely hit even if he shielded. Fuck. Uh, damage is. Why am I rolling twos and threes? Um, that's it's five now. Because your dice went the Providence, your camera's off. Day. Oh, sorry. Nine plus three radiant, so 12. I'm glad you turned on your camera because then you can answer the question how would you like to do this? Because you have to be like buff. That shadow yes. fought him up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah glitch. Um, yeah, she's just actually angry now. She's usually not angry while she's fighting. And her sword is just going clean down into his shoulder. It's hitting, like, the clavicle. And it's, like... I mean, technically it's slashing, but she's doing bludgeoning damage. She is breaking bones. <laughs> yeah. As this is happening. He fucking melts the ground. The staff he was using falls to the floor. Is that your turn? Uh, that That's all I can do. That's as far as I can go. And this one's gonna look. Ooh. You son of a bitches. It's gonna look at you. Glitch. You did the most damage to its leader. It's gonna look at you. And I'm gonna need a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I guess I got to back. A very bad Viking. Not 20 for 21. Oh. Nicely done. Well, uh, you take... Has, uh... Oh, well, no. Phantasm Cameron does nothing to you. Damn! Ooh. God. Dang it. All right. We're back to... Oh, Arnis, you still down? Yes, you are. Arnis, at the end of your turn. I forgot to be doing this. What's what's uh, tying you to this plane? I t keep, I've totally forgot. I'm sorry, guys, that were down. I forgot to do this. What's tying to your plane of existence right now? What's holding you? Uh, probably my kingdom. Trying to get back there. As well as my friends that I've made on this adventure so far. Keep them alive. Keep trying to lead them. As you're having these thoughts, as you see your body, as you're floating above where your body is, floating up, as you're having these thoughts, you get sucked right back down your body, you spit up blood, and you stand, or you don't stand up, but you have one hit point left as I rolled a natural 20 for you. And you see me go there looking worried and, and trying to cast cure wounds on you. 
Let's not forget the important details here. Yeah. Uh, Glitch, you're <laughs> up. Glitch, you're up, and then Insom, you're on deck. I... Yeah. Uh, Glitch is gonna go over to Arwenus and use his last spell slot on Cure Wounds. Oh, no. Counter Nine. spell. He used it on me, though. He had his oh, turn. no, he had a turn. He has had his turn, yeah. yeah. yeah he counterspelled your Cure Wounds. Yep. All right. Well, then I will turn to face that guy and protect Arnus's buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Verona is up. Oh, I'm sorry, Assam, you're up. I will go ahead and 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 guys, don't forget your temporary hit points at the end of your turn. One d six plus five. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast aid uh, at second level. And uh, Kalis, you get five hit points. Iwanis, you get five hit points. And uh, Glitch, how are you doing? Do you I need it or am I going to take it for myself? All right, I'll take it for myself then. Uh, so then I will get the last of the five hit points. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. And the way it looks when he casts aid is he takes like this Thank like you. little butterfly out of a pouch and he crushes it in its hand and then this little like black smoke kind of like seeps out and drifts like both up his nose into your nose and then into your nose, Kalis, and it just like wakes you up here. <laughs> Verona is up. Um, Verona is, Verona will cast Firebolt again. Just Firebolt? Don't, it have, don't she have something more higher? Only if she gets up real close. Well, she should get up real close. Yeah. Well, she's hurting. And they're hurting. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Time to step right. up. <laughs> um... She doesn't. She doesn't have great damage spells unless they're wearing armor that is specifically made of metal. Yeah. Sorry, these guys are just straight spellcasters. So. Yep. so... It, it, it would really suck if they had armor on, and then <laughs> casting all these high-level spells. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that is a seventeen to hit. 17 hits because the user reaction does not have shield left. It was a one and a two for the damage, so three points of fire. So Love D10s. She, I was hoping she would kill this guy, but no, I guess not. She got to kill the last person in, in the last fight, last session. Did she? I don't even remember that fight. Yep. Um, All right. And, and she'll move back into the northeast corner. And then, uh, Kalis, give me a uh, con save for getting back up. 15. You're in, don't take a low exhaustion as you get back up. I, uh, I will stand up. I'm going to start stumbling my way back to the dais. Because Providence has got that back there. I don't know. You don't know what Providence, happened, though. Yeah, I was like, Providence isn't near me. That guy isn't near me anymore. I'm just assuming she's chasing him down. Uh, so I'm going to go back in to where I hear more fighting happening. So you get back up. You have 15 feet. They get you about right there. You're going to fall flat on your face. And then <laughs> I'm going to use the last 15 of my... No, I'll just use 10 of my lay on hands on myself. Okay. And that's my go. Nico. And you get temporary hit points. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a D6. D6 plus 5. 
So Eight. when when Glitch came over and healed Arwenus, uh Nico would have no. let out or or I guess when Arwenus kind of came to and then when Glitch healed her brother, Nico would let out almost like an audible sigh of relief. Uh and then I'm going to turn my attention to the the enemy and I'm going to I'm going to try to shoot him. I failed in the healing. Yeah, but that's okay. She's awake and you tried. <laughs> <laughs> um that is a a 15 to hit. 15 misses. Yeah, I thought it would. So as it hits that little visible shield around him. Yep. Um and I that's what I got. Okay. Providence uh, Providence is going to run back to the doorway. Are you picking up any are you, anything from his body or anything? Uh, if I can do it as a free action, yes. But otherwise, I'd rather get back to the fight. If you turn around and pick up the staff and run back, I'll allow that. But as far as searching, yeah, sure. no. No, I'll grab the staff. All right. Uh, but I'm going to run back up to the doorway. Um, and I'm going to let Rage drop for a bonus action. Uh, sorry, not Rage, Righteous Fury. Uh, and she's going to take her sword and she's going to point it at the guy on the dais that she can see through the doors and she's going to cast, I've called it Glowing Sword Blast, but she's going to cast a uh, Guiding Bolt. How far can that go? 120 feet. And if possible, it's can I step one done. one space back just in case there's any, any, any chance of um, uh, reactions? Oh, it hits, so I don't even have to roll? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're in range, what I'm saying. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I don't get any advantages on this, but I do get my 1d4. And it's not going to hit, so I'm not even going to bother rolling. No, that misses. Well, but that's some cool she action right there, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But you guys do see, like, a glowing, like, a glowing blast. By just, like, that cast power like, of glowing skull that it just... Right over to the head. I, I can't get Shira out of my head whenever I see Providence now. It's going to just be stuck. <laughs> I didn't do it intentionally, but I think after I created the character, I'm like, oh, well, well, dang, I just created Shira. <laughs> I remember when you messaged me that, like, before our set, before our dark session, it was like, yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Um, bonus action? Yeah, I think that's all I can do. Celestial Radiance is still going off. Or Radiant Consumption, sorry. We'll drop down. Oh, natural 20 for the Athletics check. So he's fine there. Oh man, I should have did that for the attack. Ah! All right. All right. He's going to run up to Glitch. Green and blackness crackling in his hand to reach out and touch Glitch. Oh. Uh. Where's the attack? Ooh. Uh, does a. Uh, 19 hit you. The yeah. rebarks. Just kidding. <laughs> Does a 19 hit you? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's nine. 12 necrotic damage. Okay. Which is so immune to that that it actually heals him. Oh, that's good. <laughs> What else is it doing to me? Uh, he did repair it touch, so he gains back six hit points. Okay. And, and I crumple at his feet. Boo and haste. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then that was action. Do you have any bone sessions that you can do? Nope. Ah. Uh... All right, 
Uh, he's fighting to the very end. Arnus! I'm going to stand up angrily. I need to make a con save to see if I get exhaustion, though. Yeah. <laughs> I get a level of exhaustion. Fudge. What'd you get? Uh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a little exhaustion. Picture it as like you're drilling running out as you're stepping up. Okay. Again. Okay, so I'm going to move closer to this dude. I think he still has the reaction because he just... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to just swing with my scimitar. All right. See if I smack him. Hey, don't freaking smack him. Nope. Um, uh. I don't know why you have not shape shifted. Um, the bonus action. Him, uh, healing word. Or try to. On glitch. Counter spell, his last one yep. for. Or actually, okay. no. Because healing words of first level? Yes. You do it first level? Yeah. Uh, he used a second level spell slot to do it with. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't, no, he has to go He up, has, has to, to use a third. Yeah. Uh, he, has, he has two fifth levels left, so he'll do that one. Okay. He'll do one of those. <laughs> he has one more fifth level. <clears throat> All right. So I'll just say that's been used. Okay. Yeah, you can't go lower. Uh, can't go higher. That's all I can do. All right. Well, made him waste it, so. True Glitch. that. Uh, Glitch, what are you thinking about in this moment? What's holding you to this plane? Uh, what's his, his brother? Find his brother. And his friends. Definitely now. Protecting his friends. All right. That's all he wanted to do. Isam. Uh, Isam is going to look at the this last person. Can I, as a free action, ask them what they were trying to do? You would have heard all the dialogue beforehand, so. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You were okay. Here. So what are they? You you as a player was not here. Uh, yeah. So basically saying anybody that was rejected or discarded or mistreated, they were, they were they were trying to take the whole city of East Haven to this goddess's uh, domain, which was so like uh, Des Desmona was the goddess goddess of absence, and they're trying to just like give them a good life in another plane. No, they're, they're trying, trying to take the entire city of East Haven to this plane. Oh, uh, okay, got it, got it, okay. Well, uh, since he already used his reaction, I'm gonna use my very last first level spell slots, bonus action healing word on glitch. Thank glitch you, Iron Nest. Okay. Nine. And sorry, dude, I rolled a one, you're gonna get six hit points. Well, it's better than zero. Thank you. And then I am going to... Am I within 15 feet of this person? 15? Yeah. Yeah, exactly 15. So I'm guessing wisdom saving throws are probably a harder sale than strength saving throws. So he's going to... His tattoos, like the two snakes that frame come up from under his shirt and frame his neck are going to come to life and these smoky serpents are going to come out and wrap themselves around, uh, uh, wrap themselves around this dude and or her, and she's going to need to take, make a DC 14 strength saving throw or take 3d6 force damage. Nine. That fails. So that is 8 plus 3, 11 points of force damage, and she is grappled. 
unless she spends her action uh, to try to escape the grapple with athletics or acrobatics. And she's so she's like kind of lifted a little bit off her feet, like wrapped by these snakes that are like biting her and shit. All right, I say he, but yeah, you oh, you he. were saying she earlier. Was I saying she? Yeah. Uh, that particular cultist is gender fluid. I don't remember saying she. You just but... decided to change her gender. Like, that's cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fine. She, yeah. Fine. Give me she, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't remember calling her she. But I was probably thinking about Fane or Ver- I keep saying Fane Verana or something. But Verana's up. I should give Verana um, a different body. It's confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please do. Yes. <laughs> but then y'all wouldn't have cared about the body at all and wouldn't cared about her, so. Are well, you is up. Providence might there be is. less angry, but um, actually, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brana will uh, she'll fire bolt again. Uh, she's gonna miss with an eleven. Damn. No. Yeah. Does grapple give the advantage? Does not. No. no she has to. Be, if she was. If she yeah, was prone and grappled, yeah. then, then I'd get then, disadvantage, actually. Be, then you'd get disadvantage, but you'd have advantage on melee attacks. But yeah. yeah, if you're restrained, it's just the movement. It's something else. Yeah. But right. uh, yeah, that'll be her Kalis. turn. Kalis. Kalis. You're up. Uh, well, I will start walking towards where I hear commotion happening. Fall it right there and whack a mole. Doop a doop. Nope, that's not gonna hit. Nope, that does not hit. So for my second attack, <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Oh. Has he used a reaction? Twenty-four. No, he counter spelled. Yep. How much damage? No, that's just a 24 to hit. Oh, yeah, that uh, definitely hits. I will now use a second level now that I can hit. Well, it has five hit points. I'm assuming. Well, I am ending this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling hey, my 5 DA. As you lean forward, we can see your cat ears. 31. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> there you go. You have to, you have to look down. Yeah. <laughs> That will be 31 points of radiant damage. To the How face. would you like to brutally murder this person? I'm just, I am so upset at this point. Everybody has been going down. It's just right into the middle of the chest. Just straight through. And then I have to, like, pull my hammer out. Is anybody still unconscious or down? No. Okay, we don't need no. to stay in combat initiative then. All right. But that. Uh, By the way, they're grappled, not restrained. I just misspoke. And restrained does do, give the advantage, but whatever I do doesn't do that. So sorry for misspeaking. Because we you went should be. So we went severely over. I'm going to give you all an option. You want to speed run? Let me just. Because I'm assuming you're going to search those two little closets with all the boxes. Do you want to just speed run me, tell you what you get? Yeah, would, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, only thing, she, uh, Province has got staff. We'll wait and decipher that. So Province, just write down that you have a staff and just remind me in that session. Um, because the staff, it will be magical, even though you don't technically know it yet. Uh, 700 copper pieces. 3,000 silver pieces. 2,100 gold pieces. 140 platinum pieces is what you find in those crates. You probably Damn. gathered. You probably gathered is probably from all the bodies that they were taking. 
Oh, so we're just stealing all these people's money. I mean, y'all can decide that. Oh. I was just going to let y'all have those yeah. right okay. then and there. And then, uh... Well, luckily, Kalis is blind, so he doesn't see yep. us stealing all the people's money. We could give Kalis, <laughs> like, a sixth of the coins and just not tell him what, what metal they're made of. I can feel. Yeah. They're minted differently. Well, have we maybe. specified that? I mean, in general, they they're minted differently. Gold is heavier for sure. Yeah. Um, congratulations, guys! You have reached level six. <gasps> Woo! Do um, attacks. So, usually you roll hit die on stream, but I know some people are multi-class. Where I want to think about what they want to multi-class into. Um, so we can just. Uh, you can roll in chat in the Discord, and uh, you can always roll and re roll ones. Uh, okay. With that being said, welcome to level six, and we'll wrap up this little area. You are we're going to pretend like you motherfucker. You, Sorry, you, you, you can you can re roll ones, it's fine, but um, we'll continue up, pick up here at the end of the fight. Uh, because I'm not sure what you want to do, figure out the people and stuff, and then um. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, uh, I finally have my aura of protection. Yes. So. Um, real, real mm -hmm. quick. Just Did everybody already know what they're sub uh, taking? What's up? What's yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So roll yeah. tender. Uh, are everybody rolling them already? Okay. Yeah. I just I didn't so I don't have to forget about it later. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and. Because we're way over time. I, I, thought, I thought there for a second Safoon was going to escape. But, you know, Providence was not having it. So, nope. all right. Uh, thank you guys for um, coming out. All right, coming out. Thank you for hanging out in the stream. Thank you, Safoon, for... Re My family is rich. We have gold. Lots of gold. I'm prepared to give you lots you of gold. Are you okay? Safoon just... Donated six hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirteen cents to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Oh what? my God! What? Oh my God! What? That is Dude. incredible. Dude, Safoon, you broke Jugan. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, okay, Zifu, we we love you. Uh, would you like your virtual hug? <laughs> Twenty times over. Oh my God. I Zafoon, like I have a revivify, I can bring Zafoon back to life if you want. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to go for a hundred subs, but you know, Jesus! Oh Wait, you meant to do it for a hundred subs, or you accidentally did it for the breast cancer research? I'm confused. So I think our battle was supposed to happen earlier, before this, and he was going to use a hundred subs if we beat him. Them, but because during this month they chose. To oh, do this oh, okay. No, I was going to do. Oh. I was going to, but decide to donate and said, "Well, thank you very much." I would have been very upset if you did that. I would love you either way, but I would have been very upset that you gave it to me instead of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. But if you want to do it later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, but thank. Oh my god, we oh reached. God. We're halfway to our goal, thanks to that. Uh, so, phone, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you something special. All right, uh, for that. Ooh, I'm yeah. not gonna tell you yeah, what yeah. it is. I'm gonna 3D print you something. I'm sure you'll probably really like. And I'm giving to clues. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Safoon. Uh, well, yeah. Th thank you so much. I don't know how else to thank you other than that. Uh, and you gotta do a, we gotta, uh, uh is all that we gotta handle a lot of stuff next year yeah. for charity. Yeah. Cause they're gonna get hit with all this extra stuff right away. Holy crap. Uh, Savun, you almost escaped. You almost escaped. You're almost about to be a recurring, but Providence wouldn't allow it. So. Yeah. Sorry. Girl, um, I, I'm going to yeah. rush over and revivify that fool. I mean, I've got one <laughs> game. <laughs> Don't you dare! I'm gonna take your diamond. Hey, I gave up half of my whatever for this. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Well, yeah. I'm, he watches the channel enough. He might redeem it again to be a different side quest again. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I, I designed this fight. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Because when you throw Verona into the encounter build, because I have a stat block for her, I have to go level her up as well. Um, mm -hmm. It throws it off and it's said straight deadly. And I wasn't sure because they had both. And I gave Savona a magical item as well. How how that will fare out. And I know you guys have advantages. So I tried to balance it out as much as possible. And I feel like it was pretty well balanced, actually. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I was trying was to put my everything mind. in the room? So that was the only thing left, really, as far as like anything really to loot. I just want to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, okay, that's the one I want to make sure. The, the, the coins and all that was in there. Okay, just want to make sure before we continue. Sorry. I basically rolled off a loot table of yeah. in the books, and that's what y'all got. So, Again, yeah, thank you, Savon, you crazy madman. Love very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, start the raid out. Uh, glitch, go around the room while y'all doing it, and I look for somebody to raid. Thank you so much. I am just hanging out. I'll go to work tomorrow. But did you know that bacteria on your skin causes your itches? <laughs> what is with these random quotes? I don't know, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I gotta do something more than just saying I just exist. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, we'll just continue around the Zoom call. We'll go, uh, Providence. Uh, I just exist. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Zafoon. That, that is insane. Um, I guess we're gonna have a lot of work to do, um, to, uh, I guess, um, just get everyone their rewards and everything like that. Um, yeah, this will be really, really fun. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, as for me, I might be streaming on Tuesday. I, I have a I have a day off from work, so I'm going to do some work at home. I know I just said day off, but you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, next is JR, I believe. Yep, JR. I, I am JR the Nerd. Uh, I usually stream on Tuesdays, but I am not uh, in a good place for streaming right now. Uh, I'm out of town for a couple weeks at conference, so I will be back in November. Uh, might do something if I find a good spot here. It's kind of up in the air for the next couple weeks, but feel You're free to check days, me out. I'm, sure you'll catch I'm also at Nerd Empire on Instagram. All right, uh, Kalis. Oh, yeah, uh, Rartender, I play Kalis. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to be have streaming up and running in November. Uh, it'll be on Thursday nights. Uh, you can find me on pretty much any social uh at raw tinder all right uh wessel weasel yep. i'm weasel or the one true special um join our discord and then join the monthly competition challenge thingies because there were prizes this month is is a costume design you can either cosplay it or draw it or give a really really detailed text version of the description but i need to be able to like envision it i sent you my picture of mine right uh i don't know that you've sent me one uh the only it's, one it's I, my lift in cosplay yeah no is that no. i'll check but send it again uh arnis uh i am arwinus i um actually wolf. i play arwinus sorry i'm silver wolf i will not be streaming until november as well uh trying to figure out when to start that up but i'm also in the charity event with is sold and jugan and thank you again zafoon that was jaw dropping and it's going to a great cause so we'll see you on i'm kind of concerned you use three sixes but other than that <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much that is uh, a fun thing to do yeah <laughs> that is a fun thing to do uh thank you guys so much for hanging out thank you for toughing this one out I think it was a lot of fun. I think it was worth it. We're going to raid into somebody new because I don't have anybody playing D&D. &D. We're going to raid into Archmage Freya. Seemed like a pretty cool overlay and stuff. So we'll go raid into them. So some love. Here's your raid tags, please. Uh, if you're just a follower, here's the free ones. If you are a subscriber, there's those. So thank you so much. And we'll go into see them. You guys have a wonderful night. you see from the
shadows we emerge protecting the realm with a surge our mission our duty our pledge to keep the balance to save the earth We fight for what's life Raise your swords and raise the shield For the order of the God that we will, we will Magic and might, our enemies we will In the darkness of secrets I see So beware of who dare to who oppose The order of the let our power grows For in the shadows we wait and we speak Protectors of the 